Hello. Hi guys. Thank you for joining the live stream. We are back after three days. We are back after a lot of struggling with demonetized videos, challenging them, waiting for three, four days for the review to come up, then getting forg forgiven by the gods at YouTube. And today we are about to do a live stream, which hopefully won't get uh, demonetized. Even the past li uh, last live stream with Mysterious Sociologist has been demonetized because of his ideas of the topic. <laughs> and today we have him again to discuss this movie called Swatantra Veet Savarkar, which he has watched only once. I have watched twice. And if I was not broke and a little, I had a little more time on my hands, like I did for Interstellar and Kantara, I would watch it three times. This is a three time watching movie. The only reason I am not is because of uh, so many other things going on. I watched only Interstellar and Kantara. Those are the two movies uh, I have watched thrice in my life in cinema theaters. This could have been the one to, to, to be a hat trick. And Let's see who all have joined here. Oh, lots of people. So, Mr. Uh, Professor lies a lot. How did you like the movie? Uh, 27 years in captivity or one muchleka? Which do you prioritize more now? So, considering your uh, demonetization by YouTube, I'd say even you should take a leaf out of <laughs> that that time and uh, write your own muchlekas or mercy <laughs> petitions to YouTube. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I personally, I'm one of the few people who, who would love uh, Savarkar for the nationalist, the activist, the leader he was. But I do not agree with his methods, not because I'm Gandhian. I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> Gandhian in, the, in any stretch of the imagination. Hmm. I do not agree with his methods because we lost a brilliant parliamentarian because of his activism, because of the way he went about his activism. Yeah. If he were just, uh, uh, he, could, he could create his own version of the Congress, like ev eventually emerged in the Hindu Mahasabha, hmm. I think Congress would have been decimated before it was born or before <laughs> it had legs. Yeah. If but you see, Gandhi, Con can you imagine, like, if he, imagine it's like it would be like joe biden and trump on stage at this point like yeah <laughs> one senile idiot talking and one very energetic and nationalist bashing him with logic and facts yeah it would be vivek ramaswamy versus joe biden yeah 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 even worse yeah vivek ramaswamy versus joe biden joe biden mm -hmm. would have had a heart attack in on the you know pulpit itself so but you see congress the only reason congress did not get decimated decimated was because it was created by alan octavian hume as a safety valve so that we have a channel we have a channel of dialogue <coughs> and therefore we don't really need to decimate this one no i mean of course the congress uh had its uh you know share of help itself yeah, and support yeah it, exactly from the british that cannot mm. be denied but what i'm saying is the hindu masava when it needed to enter uh parliamentary politics when they when the parliamentary politics eventually began in the early 20th century yeah. Even in its nascent stage, although yeah. that cannot be called democracy in any stretch of the <laughs> imagination. Yeah. But still, but still, we needed more political parties. We needed more people to challenge the British and the Congress in in the in the legislature, in the on the streets. And without without a orator, without a leader like Savarkar, that movement did not gain the fervor it should have gained. Yeah, like Savarkar himself said in the movie, I don't know if he has said this in real life or was it just a bit of uh, uh, color touching by Randi Puda that just wait for 1952 elections, then we can do some real stuff. We have we have lost yes. the 47 one. Yes. Yeah, and and I personally believe that whether whether we uh, you know um, whether we agree to Savarkar's hmm. sacrifices or not, and and all the all of the what the Hindu Mahasabha did. Hmm. The fact remains that uh, the Congress was never a representative of the people. Yeah. The Congress never re represented anyone but the landed interests of India. Yeah. Many of whom aligned, of course, that, that's not to say the Congress never had good leaders. Hmm. The Bipin Chandrapal, uh, we had, uh, you know, Tilak, all of them came out of the Congress, but they were hmm. hardly Congressy. They were, they did not agree with Gandhi on most points. Yeah. Uh, the Gandhi Congress that emerged hmm. that was a joke that was that was not a political party that was a 
that was an a conglomerate like uh, not to say there are hmm. some parties right now in india which are conglomerates of criminals hmm. <laughs> uh, and landed interests and dominant caste the same yeah. manner uh, in the same manner the congress party was uh, basically a conglomerate of landed interests whereas you yeah. see somebody like savarkar was building a mandir for dalits who's uh, you know who's who's telling uh, youths uh, of all ages to join the army Yeah. to 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 do businesses to do to do work right yeah. to to build their physique to build their minds hmm. that kind of thing was absolutely necessary instead yeah. of bullshit ahimsa <laughs> which, which was which is you know i don't know which which was a joke and I, I, we we took the joke too seriously that's our fault the fault of our ancestors i would yeah. say the fault in our stars <laughs> yeah so, uh, professor koshi gongopadhyay was reminding us that ahimsa is meant to be prevention of violence you make sure that ahimsa doesn't ha- happen around you that's the true ahimsa yeah 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 <laughs> and and well we all know that part yeah. my thing is i don't agree with savarkar's method i'm sorry i i just don't think a a a, a person a person like that a person like madanlal dhingra many others many hmm. other revolutionaries yeah uh, even netaji subhas i i'm i i am a huge fan of uh, netaji subhas's um, you know a personality and his his life but hmm. uh, i believe that like these people could have destroyed the congress electorally and uh, in many other ways hmm. then but, just going to jail or ending up behind you know whatever uh, trying to uh, just somehow run f- for their lives or whatever that 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 destroyed their the ability they had to captured the masses but would the congress uh, would the uh, british have ever left if there wasn't so much violence also that they had to handle from the natives <laughs> uh well uh, with the exception of the fact that the naval uh, uh, revolt and all that stuff that did gain momentum and but but look at it this way britain under atli <clears throat> gave up a lot of its former colonies atli i think lost majority of its african indian and a bunch of other colonies during that period in the mm. 40s and late 40s early 50s all that time mm. right so britain was not the britain of the 1850s or even the britain of 1900s mm. when once world war 2 had happened world war 2 had decimated europe completely mm. Mm. i believe the british going was a matter of time it it wasn't a matter of if it was a matter of when Okay. Okay. But at instead of forty-seven, we could have got fifty, fifty-two, hmm. three, whatever. Hmm. But but they lost Egypt. They lost. So it's not about whether the armed revolt work or not. It's it's about wh- why you know the why Europe was completely destroyed and they they had to rebuild Europe basically from scratch hmm. after after World War Two. Hmm. Would so you say? That's Yeah. Then would you say today's BJP, BJP government, BJP as a party, is it Congress with Sal, uh, with uh, Vallabhai Patel or is it uh, Savarkarite BJP or uh, Savarkarite no, uh, Hindu, uh, Hindu Mahasabha? What what I understand is there are some core principles of of the Hindu Mahasabha hmm. that the BJP heavily respects. For example, hmm. a lot of people don't know, but the Indian National Army when it hmm. when its soldiers were caught and there was a Red Fort trial, right? Hmm. uh it was only the hindu mahasabha which hmm. fasted which did protests the hmm. congress actually enjoyed it ki amara hmm. uh you know our our enemies have been caught by the british yeah. and uh, now we will enjoy the dominance without netaji subhas okay right so the ina was supported not just logistically through hmm. rajbihari bose and savarkar yeah the ina soldiers had moral support and political support yeah from uh the hindu mahasabha hmm. okay and this is what even modi ji did when he installed a statue of netaji in in delhi hmm. and also he uh, recognized i think tacitly recognized netaji as the first prime minister of yeah. india yeah so in a way in a way i would say there are some important aspects of uh you know uh, savarkar's dream that have been realized by uh, modi none Mm -hmm. number one number two the fact that i don't know some canadian leaders are saying uh the indian state is killing its enemies on foreign soil Mm -hmm. um 
that that kind of means what Savarkar was saying well, hmm. is finally being uh, fought for by our present uh, dispensation. Yeah, Savarkar basically hmm. said, "Ghar mein guske maro," right? <clears throat> and yeah. that's happening to a great extent hmm. only under this government. Yeah. So I, I don't think it's a betrayal of <clears throat> it's it's uh, you know in his pragmatism I think Modi follows everyone everywhere wherever mm-hmm. it's required if he yeah. if he needs Gandhi's uh, economic principles he does that yeah if he needs Avarkar's uh, nation first principles then he does that yeah um, if if he plays if he if he uh, you know secures the border tries to secure borders and the sovereignty like Vallabhai Patel he does that hmm. I think he he borrows from the best <clears throat> hmm. yeah. That doesn't mean Gandhi is the best, but he, he may have had one or two positive aspects to his life. Yeah, we'll come back to Savarkar the person a little later once again in the live stream. Now, what yeah. do you think of the movie itself? Uh, the movie is surprisingly well. When I say surprisingly, it's because I I'm sorry, but not a lot of good directors uh, are there in the indie wing, hmm. if I can call it that. Yeah, the non-left. The non-left. Hmm. Um, the anti-left. So, uh, very few, very few directors have stood the test of, uh, you know, quality yeah. when it comes to making movies. I loved Kerala story, but mm. Kerala story, let's face it, it's, it's, it, it didn't have the best actors. Mm. It didn't have the best kind of, uh, the script was a bit shoddy in places, mm. right? Uh, in a way, what, what I saw with, uh, Huda's direction was, mm. it was brilliant because, mm-hmm. I didn't expect three hours to pass in half an hour. That's <laughs> yeah. what he did. He, he told us a story for three hours. Yeah. And uh, I didn't believe it was three hours. I couldn't yeah. believe it. And yeah. and that's what you need. You need, you need. And and what he also did was he he did a curious balance of both. He didn't make it everything about Savarkar like Savarkar's life, when he breathed, when he ate, what he did. Not exactly. He focused a lot on other revolutionaries. Yeah. By but, and and this is to demonstrate that Savarkar was not alone. He was there with other people. So it wasn't a biography of sorts. Hmm. And at the same time, he 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 showed how the perspectives were working in Indian politics. Drishtikon, hmm. hmm. Gandhi's perspective, Savarkar's perspective, Netaji's perspective, hmm. Bhagat Singh's perspective, etc. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, even Lenin was there. So <laughs> my point is that it wasn't, uh, you know, he he did ten things in one movie and he pulled it off. I yeah. Uh, I think he's one of the best directors we have in India right now. Yeah. Has he directed anything else? I don't think so. Huh. I don't know. I'm not aware. Okay. But uh, I, yeah, I, I, I think this is a masterpiece. If this is first, yeah. de- uh, you know, first venture into direction, mm-hmm. then uh, my God, I mean, we can expect yeah. some big things. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone other than Aditya Dhar has stood the test of Skills, of course, uh, yeah, Aditya, so far, Aditya, Aditya Dhar, Dhar, Vivek, Vivek Agniotri has gotten better. Right, right. Okay. But um, that's the thing, like Aditya Dhar is one of the best we have. I yeah. think number one is Aditya Dhar, number two can be Randi Puda in, in yeah. terms of, you know, the quality of direction, sound, editing, um, yeah. screenplay, everything. I didn't watch uh, uh, Buddha in a Traffic Jam, nor have I watched the Lal Bahadur Shastri movie, but I have watched Chocolate. So, Kashmir Files is obviously like in, an, in a different galaxy from Chocolate. So, of course, Agnihotri has also improved his skills to a large extent. No, if you watch Buddha in a Traffic Jam, mm. it, had su- it had some big problems towards the end. Like, he builds okay. up the story well, okay. but then it's like his money finished and then he had to right. finish the movie yeah. somehow in 20 minutes and yeah. he did that. That happens. And in Tashkent, I think he overplayed the emotional aspect. Like, everyone okay. was crying, mm. shouting, jumping. I see. Uh, I, I did not like that. Yeah. I felt that it's a serious topic that did not need so much drama. Mm. Okay. They are brilliant actors. So Agnihotri is lucky that he works with some of the best actors available, right? <laughs> yeah. um, again, Shudip Toshan is not so lucky. He's only like, he has that Adha Sharma and two other mm. people he works with. Yeah. So he's a bit unlucky that way. Mm. I think Huda was the luckiest because he has himself to work with. Yeah. And uh, the people he chose for the parts were brilliant. Yeah. I, I have no I have no grouse against, yeah. uh, uh, you know, Huda in this way. It was so good. It was, and see, it was. It had to be a big, big challenge. There was so much content to to cram into. You know, in a three-hour, even order, even a two and a half-hour setting. It it best would have been if it was made into a web series, but then no one would watch it probably. Uh, not many are watching it even as of now in the movie theaters. 
why the surprisingly slow opening for this movie i thought it was going to be a gigantic hit from day one because i guess uh, so I there's a hindutva wave in the country yeah. everyone knows savarkar I, everyone knows so, so there are two problems there are two problems i remember the trailer dropping sometime last year and i expected it to come out in december or something last year that was okay. a teaser right I yeah, the trailer, the trailer came out was only really strong back right. gandhi ji bude nahi the and okay, all that okay. so yeah i yeah. i remember that i hmm. watched it at least 10 times myself so, i guess that's uh, when he fired or uh, uh, some other diff- director that was watching uh, working in the movie mahesh manjrekar was there i don't know the exact story behind this hmm. but i think what people now have is a bit of fatigue like they just watched article 370 then people like me just watched bastar and then you know unless you're heavily dedicated to nationalist uh, through the nationalist cause yeah. which whose number is still i think less than 5% of india then you have a problem that how mm-hmm. many people and plus it's election season a okay. ton of bjp like the serious workers mm-hmm. many of whom would have watched this movie otherwise yeah are working actually physically on the ground right. working all day so True. you don't have the footfalls that you expected in article 370 or kashmir files this is why this film should have been released in january or december <clears throat> yeah that's been a perfect boost i i feel it's the time it's unlucky because of the time yeah So, so even though he had so much content to cram in, he he did not make it too quick. It so it did not feel like uh, Da Vinci Code or uh, Angels and Demons. It wasn't like a run from here and there. There were jumps, oh. but it was of course a different way of telling the story. It was the most different mainstream Bollywood film I've ever seen. It was going back and coming back and going forward and again coming back. It was so nice to watch. It kept you on on your toes. But again, sprinkled you with interesting situations and interesting incidents with interesting people. No, absolutely, and uh, like you said, I think I'm I'm happy you mentioned angels and demons because hmm. angels and demons was, I think, an elaborate joke on the audience. Because I still like it. After because, all, Hans Zimmer's music is there. Yeah, I mean, I the music apart, uh, I I think that there's one problem with such movies that, you know, they they they, uh, you're you're in a you're it's like watching a very fast tourism video. Right. Okay. Exactly. But. but it's not you, you, by the time you get the message it's it's kind of lame mm. but uh with this movie uh we were transported to england properly we were transported back to and india andaman properly mm. we were again transported to ratnagiri properly i i think it is brilliant like the pace feels like a we we saw a glimpse of his life mm. and yet it did not make us tired or bored that that i, yeah. I don't know how it Amazing. achieved it brilliant yeah. and we have a lot to discuss in the jail scenes but one thing i think it it happened i think because of the camera angles that you felt like you were in the jail with him you felt his Absolutely. pain you felt claustrophobic everything was done with just the help of the camera and his acting of course no no it's brilliant and 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 uh, i do believe that you know this is for a mature audience also Yeah. because if you if you think about it um the problems of solitary confinement now solitary mm. confinement is crazy because solitary confinement will drive you mad essentially yeah. it's designed to drive you mad yeah right so people who don't know about these things uh, a more lay audience who does not think or watch these kind of movies they will think why is he acting strange in solitary confinement and afterwards because it's mm. designed to make you go crazy hmm he was there in solitary confinement six times yeah i i i don't know like you i don't know how he survived that okay yeah and how he survived andaman and after that if somebody writes mafi veer um well i i i i i don't feel bad anymore because you see people are at the base of their minds people are unempathetic i believe hmm and somewhere there's an incentive structure tied with being appearing progressive appearing leftist okay? edgy edgy and 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 you know you 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 get rewards you you get a slice of bread and you get a biscuit thrown at you every now and then if you if you behave like a lap dog of the left it's it's fine really i i don't i used to judge these people because uh, they were unempathetic and stupid but i think that it's not you know they shouldn't be judged they're just waiting for their biscuits it's they're working hard for it yeah and uh, the thing is the interesting thing is i i believe and and this is where i i think you should have written the mercy, mercy petition as soon as possible and not waited for so long although his mercy petition got rejected many times he yeah. uh, many other prisoners were freed before yeah. him 
140 prisoners were freed before him yeah so clearly his mercy petition did not work yeah and my other point is that i think the only reason he was released was because uh, well gandhi fought uh, to for his release to some extent Hmm. that gandhi had a had the ambition of bringing him into politics provisional hmm. politics hmm. i think gandhi wanted somebody strong from maharashtra or somebody and he hoped that savarkar would be that face yeah and i think that's why he got released and if even if that is the case i that is why i don't agree with savarkar's politics hmm. because he he wasted like i'm not saying he wasted it deliberately but he wasted that time and i feel so bad knowing that there could have been a free market of ideas back then instead of mm-hmm. simply gandhi on ideas uh, in in yeah in, yeah later uh, on later on we'll we'll get to savarkar the person a little later yeah, first let's complete absolutely. the movie and uh, one of the <laughs> most incredibly intelligent things that randiputa did with the movie is that i guess he had obviously budget constraints so 20 crore rupees movie but he used it to his advantage he used so many scenes that could have uh, if if it was a rajamouli kind of a budget he could have well done them with a gigantic crowd epic music epic scenarios uh, epic scenes uh, that savarkar giving a speech in front of 1 lakh people gandhi giving a speech in front of 1 lakh people or crowds reacting to gandhi differently from savarkar etc but all those scenes then savarkar reading out lines from essentials of hindutva okay all of those treated as a as a solo drama theater performance with just darkness and some sound effects from the audience and just you and the dialogues alone you are made to ponder over them there's nothing else to to send your brain signals to okay the only information in the entire cinema theater you are being fed are the lines from hindutva essentials of hindutva or or savarkar's thoughts on how, why why gandhi is wrong those are brilliant because in any foolish director who did not have that kind of uh, rajamouli kind of a budget but wanted to show these scenes would be a fool and and do it shoot it at at a small venue with 20 people and then do a cgi copy paste with bad cgi and bad vfx and make it try to look make it look like 5000 people and then the entire scene would look so cheap and and uh, like a c grade uh, m- movie but instead oh, randiputa turned into a a, a theater performance no and this is this is essential in a movie that is also has to stand the test of ideology right like mm. uh it has to represent what savarkar thought while at the same time um putting it in simpler words and 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 in for a for an audience that may not be aware may not be may not have read savarkar or uh, anything about him Hmm. so it does that brilliantly i think i think whoever wrote the script if it was huda or somebody else i think it was a master class in writing hmm. whoever did and like you said it it was done like a one uh, it was done like a four act play i think yeah and that's where he it's is his success yeah right and and you know it that's what helps us to understand what savarkar was trying to do and 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 you know wh- what kind of thought processes may have gone through his mind is without us having even read a book perhaps mm. many of us yeah. right um that's brilliant i have to you know you have to lord huda as yeah. a, as a filmmaker for that how much do you think the movie will appeal to someone who doesn't know anything about savarkar was the movie too fast for them no i i personally don't think so okay. i think everyone will enjoy this movie i i think that's how that's why it's brilliant hmm. it it's not christopher nolan it's not hmm. uh you know baba gana chakor it's it's hmm. it's perfect like it's there for a middle class you know kind of educated audience hmm. who will be curious about the issue but hmm. may not know anything about the issue yeah but filmmaking wise it is pretty mu- pretty advanced overall cinematography storytelling everything wise and so if anyone is a lay viewer who is just interested in savarkar or is a fan of savarkar but does doesn't watch different kinds of movies not not exactly the cine buff so to speak in bengali <laughs> or uh, or is interested in uh, movies in general as well but or is a fan of randip huda but now gets to see a very advanced uh, pretty world class movie because he's interested in randip huda and savarkar because otherwise any randip huda movie uh, producers would not uh, finance this kind of a of a brave way of storytelling that is the main problem with bollywood why innovation doesn't happen or when it happens they then uh, squeeze that for again 20 years i hope they don't do th- do that with this one but at least some a big gigant leap in a gigantic leap in filmmaking i think is in due order i think now is going to happen 
unless this movie becomes a flop so that's why i'm saying that please go watch I this movie and make it a flop, hit i i don't think it will flop but it i i think in a, released at the right time it could go to 200 crores hmm perhaps it won't achieve that kind of a milestone at this point that's hmm. the that's the tragedy i think of this whole timing thing it's it's the worst because yeah. let's face one fact bjp workers and bjp leaders are the primary ones who would have watched this movie and you know made people watch it right and the the, the yeah. this identity that bjp worker and that that's also a lot of people in the country today mm. a lot of the core yeah. uh, watching the audience base for this movie absolutely yeah. and and if you consider that bjp got i think uh, 25 or 26 crore votes i i, mm. I might be mistaken 24 mm. crore mm. uh imagine even a even a fraction of that mm. right and i say i'm talking about a dedicated even if 2 crore people watched this movie mm. that that itself would have been huge i don't think 2 crore people even watch a movie like um, you know even kashmir files i don't think 2 crore people watched it but okay. it, was, it was a super hit so it's all about yeah. timing i think i think huda lost out because of the timing and mm. maybe not lost out perhaps it could it could pick up you know kashmir files was dormant for the first two days till it picked up like crazy mm. so let's hope against hope i think yeah people in the audience are saying that uh, randeep huda had to ask for money from his father to complete the movie yeah that's the tragedy i mean i mean and someone know, else is saying i believe sometimes i believe that the bjp should do what the left does the, the left provides a stream of revenue okay for its propagandists no matter what like you keep producing research papers you keep producing music you keep producing art no matter how ghatiya it is no matter how fake it is it you know that way it 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 gives um it gives a lot of support for the people who work for it the bjp all its supports <laughs> are corrupt mlas and mps i i don't know why uh, they can't spare a few hundred crores for aise to electoral bond ka data aa hi gaya so i i don't know why they can't spare a few hundred crores for good filmmakers have you seen the kind of c grade d grade i i i didn't know there was a d grade till i watched some of the trailers of some some indic i can't even call it indic that's an insult to aryabhatta and all so mm. the the worst part is that these these filmmakers have no support the serious ones have no support yeah chalo theek hai everyone has to be a swayam sevak the sanghi who never went to a sang shaka that's that's the, that's that's the, the worst picture i've heard in a while anyway so <laughs> modi wants everyone to be that khud ke khud ke effort se karo seva karo film if, banao if if huda if huda is uh, does not profit much from this venture <clears throat> Yeah. it is a travesty and it is a it is a it is our loss it is it is a loss for every every hindu in this world i agree I 100% and it's a big loss for art in general in india it this sets back yeah, value absolutely. 20 years south ka to kuch aata jata nahi hai south has its own money it it's an internal consumption model in in the southern half of india anyway they don't even yeah, need yeah, their movies yeah. to be watched in the rest of the country the north does So South is happy. But I still, I, I still believe, you know, if if it k- kind of pulls through till, you know, the next Friday. Yeah. I have a feeling it might pick up more. It might pick up much more. Yeah. I, I, something tells me. I, I don't know. Let's yeah. see. Let's hope. And uh, and in terms of the music, man, I, I of course have a personal stake in this. I want this movie to make a lot of money so that such mo- so that I someday get to do the background score for such movies. This is this is such such a beautiful movie. The background score from Article Three Seventy was already ten years ahead of rest of Bollywood. But this movie could have, if it becomes a hit, it can teach so many things to so many people, and it can tell the producers that yes, be a little brave. Don't wait for only South to innovate. I I know that everything that the South is doing today, if if a person came with those same stories, ideas, same kind of even music arrangement choices. to a producer in bengali tollywood or bollywood they would say absolutely no this is too risky this has never been done before and uh, south south goes on funding these stuff and and makes on goes on making profits but after it's done in the southern industries then bollywood takes it up or bengali tollywood takes it up by the time it's already watched in the rest of the country therefore bollywood and especially bengali tollywood movies never get an appeal outside their states because everyone in the rest of the country has watched those stu- so same techniques those same techniques from the southern movies already 
but this can change if Randeep Hooda's movie becomes a hit. And the music, it was done in collaboration uh, with between uh, Sandesh Chandelia and a French composer. The French composer al- al- obviously did the, I guess, the most Western sounding parts with, with different uh, solo cellos. Although it could have been done in India as well. There are many brilliant cello players in, in Mumbai. But there was so much Indian elements as well, like with the Tasha and all for the Marathi epic music scenes. Absolutely. absolutely. And then the, uh, the, the time when he goes for the arranged marriage thing. Those also had uh, Shahnaiz, etc. Those were done by Sandesh Chandilya. For those of you who don't know, Sandesh yeah, Chandilya. I was wondering. I was wondering uh, how a French guy got the Indian yeah. uh, instruments so well. You know. Yeah. Sandesh Chandilya is one of another of those composers who never gets his due. For some reason, he keeps on working in projects where he is just the second foremost name or the third foremost name. Although he probably does most of the job. Like. Uh, everyone has heard, every 90s kid has heard Pia Basanti Re. No one knows that it was composed and arranged by Sandesh Shandilya. He is a student of uh, Usad Sultan Khan, who is the singer of uh, Pia Basanti Re. Then Sandesh Shandilya actually made the song Suraj Hua Maddham. I don't think there's any Indian born after 1990 who says that's a bad song. But everyone thinks that's made by Jatin Lalit because Jatin Lalit was the main composer for the rest of the movie Kabi Khushi Kabi Gam. But that song, song specifically was absolutely made by Sandesh Shandilya. So that man is working in this movie as, as background score. Uh, background score composer. The songs are made by Anu Malik. That's not a big thing. But the background score, first and foremost, is awesome because it has everything for every scene. Then it, it's not a very ideological <laughs> background score. So it's not really that I have to show Indian influences. No, no, no. It doesn't care about that. It care about what's the mood of the scene works according to that. Some some pieces, some situations are very melody heavy where you know, oh, it's that melody. I can almost hum it with in my mind. Some scenes, they don't ha- even have melody. Okay. They are just very tension building. There are seven, eight instruments going on, but no one is really giving you a melody because a melody at that point is not the main thing to focus on. It's only the texture, the vibe you get from the scene that that needs to be heightened. That kind of background music was being done here. And more importantly, they didn't rely on just two, three uh, main uh, melodies that they would repeat in different situations, which is also a way to go. But here the credit lies more with the composers because there were about seven, eight different compositions that they sprinkled through the entire movie. But also, most importantly, and which is to a large, large, uh, uh, um, to, to a large extent, I will credit this to Randeep Huda for approving these kind of stuff. There are many composers who can de- do these kind of stuff, but these are usually rejected by the producers and the directors because their taste is also very bad. They haven't watched any movie after 2008. They have watched some web series in the last weekend they were, when they were drunk, etc. But Randeep Huda probably listens, uh, listens to so many different kinds of music, watches so many different kinds of uh, movies, watches different kinds of theatres. That's why he was able to accept a lot more things that the uh, composers were uh, were uh, pitching to him i think the first half almost entirely is carried on the backs of the background score and the first 15 minutes i guess there was only one dialogue and that too in marathi it was one brilliant score after the other one brilliant music piece after the other okay that kind of music heavy uh, filmmaking usually happens in hollywood with ha- with hans zimmer taking up all all the responsibility on his shoulders that kind of music was done for the first time in in a, such a mainstream bollywood movie and with so many uh, epic layers, it's not just one ambient piano playing. It was heavy, hard work stuff that was going on in the first half. Yeah, the the revolutionaries and and that scene, right, where the brothers were killing the British and all. Yeah. That too, that had basically no dialogue. That, too, but hmm. it conveyed so much. Yeah. It conveyed every possible emotion over the play cut time and all that. Hmm. Everything. Hmm. Uh, beautifully, beautifully done. Yeah. Beautifully done. There's no doubt about that. And uh, one of my most memorable, I have four or five from the movie. One of the more memorable scenes that was sort of like a light bulb, a strike to your to your um, to your psyche, to your heart. That oh wow, that was so great. That was the intermission scene. That the entire first half is Savarkar being very so-called secular, uh, basically <laughs> a liberal, and uh, right. writing his first book, Revolt of 1857, which is almost like it could be taught in even CPM classrooms probably. And then it, at the moment of the intermission. A uh, Muslim jailer kicks him and says, Tum hindu ke liye ganga jal lai kya? That's when sort of a separation, sort of a quote-unquote partition happens, okay? That's the first time he is sort of disillusioned as if in that very moment. And therefore, now an intermission, you ponder over it, the audience, and take a break, have some coffee, and come back to see the change that Savarkar uh, goes through now. No, and, and you know, that, that scene... Um, I think it, it's representative of what, what happened to a lot of us. Like, hmm. I don't think a, a, there were a lot of people who were born into a Indic mindset or a 
pro hindutva mindset in india because of the education system but a mm. lot of us saw the hypocrisies on the ground yeah and then we changed our mind many of us right yeah. and that that represents that that frustration with with the system hmm and i think that I, i think that scene represents much more than savarkar's uh, rude awakening right it represents our rude awakening from uh, a deep slumber forced slumber that we yeah, are putting exactly and uh, two other such brilliant situations where the silent did most of the job because the movie otherwise is so music heavy so background music heavy there are two significant sections where there's where there's absolutely no background score and it haunts you for those moments one is the most significant one where uh, savarkar and his brother get the news that uh, vidhi savarkar's uh, like uh, sister in law right yeah 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 sister in law yeah. gets uh, a dies just 4 days before when they were about to meet anyway and in that moment no one actually says that yeah, yeah she has died savarkar asks the question where is she and uh, they didn't even mention right or did they but the but, but the subtitle came on the oh, screen think, and and mentioned it was written on the i think yeah only uh, the subtitle yes about her and then there's no response yeah and it's written on the side that and then there's a away. yeah it's written on the side that they that she passed away 4 days before meeting them and there's a long 5 6 second silence where everyone looks at each other and there's no music and even you are you as an audience are absolutely left flabbergasted you are pondering that oh my god 4 days just 4 days and she could have met them after about 10 12 years what a brilliant scene no i i i have to say like what what this did for me was yeah as a as a logical person mm-hmm. i have uh, think of myself as being logical um i have often pondered about these things right that a movie is relevant uh, you, you know you can read about the holocaust but we watch schindler's list it it changes you completely right it it takes you transports you to nazi germany you read yeah. about savarkar and the betrayal he ha- faced and everything but it's something to read it and it's the visual medium when it when it when it takes out the same uh you know emotions in your somewhere which are deep you know the audio visual me- medium that is why propaganda in the and 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 when people say propaganda movie i don't get one point everything is propaganda <coughs> i i don't see why propaganda is a problem i've never understood this part you know like i have never understood why leftists are called liberals they're radicals not liberals they are yes. not liberal enough to accept another point of view yeah so the same manner i have never understood why propaganda is a bad word yeah propaganda to sabhi karte hai you think what the biggest example of propaganda is uh, gandhi by Richard Attenborough. I am sorry, that was a elaborate oh joke God. on humanity. Oh. Okay, that was even in, in part funded by Congress. Yeah, yeah, funded by Congress and any other person who wanted to destroy this country. They all came together and was like, you know, made Ben <laughs> Kingsley play Gandhi. Anyway, that is such like the scale of that movie. Can you imagine the amount of funding they got? The the sheer scale of Gandhi, right? Yeah. they made him look like and i think they put guru golwalkar in the scene where they were planning his murder like they completely like they they based that whole movie on lies it was like congress ne likha hai aur inhone banaya hai and they didn't uh, mention netaji they didn't mention half the important people in the world back then yeah huh and and the worst part is gandhi ko kya bana diya matlab wo dekhenge you will think gandhi is some sant mahatma okay yeah but but it was only you know in both dead or alive another brilliant series hmm. i think by hansal mehta <coughs> where where subhash chandra bose says gandhi ko bolo na angrezon ko ahimsa se yudh jitane ke liye and and you know his 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 hypocrisies are exposed very yeah. recently yeah i think another film that beautifully exposes gandhi's hypocrisy is the legend of bhagat singh yeah <laughs> uh which was i think one movie that helped turn many of the 90s kids into nationalists yeah whoever watched that movie understood that so again here the role of hindu mahasabha right the role mm. of hindu mahasabha has always been a kind of there's a silence forced silence on that role mm. so if you look at lala lajpat rai's death when when the go back simon protest happens in uh and bhagat singh and all eventually avenge lala lajpat rai's yeah. death a communist uh, 
a socialist, not a communist, a socialist like Bhagat Singh is uh, fighting, uh, is killing a British officer. Yeah. Because he has killed a Hindu Mahasabha leader. Yeah. Called Lala Lajpat Rai. Hmm. Okay. Again, in Indian National Army, Subhas Bose's hmm. Indian National Army, yeah. Azad Hind Fauj. Yeah. Created by Rajbihari Bose, who is the president of Hindu Mahasabha Japan. Yeah. Okay. Rajbihari Bose was an unapologetic Hindu. He was a yeah. friend and, and comrade of Savarkar. Hmm. Okay. And actually, Rajbihari Bose and Ravinath Tagore clashed on many occasions because of this. Uh, they both had very different visions. So, uh, Rajbihari Bose believed in Japanese supremacy that, that was developing. Like, Japan had become a uh, you know, uh, a nation with weapons and a modern army and mm. everything. And and uh, Ravinath Tagore was, uh, he, I think he still had some uh, bit of non-violence ka rogue in him. Mm. But he did praise Subhas Bose a lot. Like, yeah. uh, I, I, Ravinath Tagore play, praised Subhas Bose quite a bit. Yeah. And uh, I think even composed some poems in his honor, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And uh, Subhash Chandra Bose is, uh, you know, helped by Savarkar and Rajbihari Bose to take over the Indian National Army. Hmm. Have you, all of us read those stupid NCRT books and ICSC books and all that. Do you remember reading the name of Hindu Mahasabha in any positive way? Or or hmm. uh, let alone, wo chhod do, that Rajbihari Bose was a Hindu Mahasabha leader. When many people didn't know that. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. I got to know that much later and I was yeah. shocked. I was like, oh, Hindu Mahasabha was there in Japan. Right. Yeah. And Rajbihari Bose was the president of that chapter. Mm. My God. And this is the same guy. Again, many Bengalis, we are to blame. Again, we are to blame. We forget the man who, who helped Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose to get the. He's also a Bengali. Ye Bangla is, what, they, what do they do? They praise Netaji because Netaji is built as some kind of secular. Uh, you know, image credentials, uh, leader, hmm. right? As opposed to somebody like Shyam Prasad Mukherjee or somebody, hmm. but he's like, if I can say, mentor in the INA was Rajbihari Bose, who was an hmm. unapologetical, uh, you know, Hindu in, yeah. in Hindu Maswa. Yeah, so, isme, so there is this great silence that we are that is forced on us. Vaise, anyway, Netaji Subhas, even, even Srijit's uh, film on him. That had one good line that a hmm. guy who reads the Vedas and Gita and all that hmm. does yoga, hmm. uh, prays every day properly. Hmm. And ye, uh, Durga Puja, bhi many many of them were started by Netaji. Hmm. How is he not? How is he a secular guy? <laughs> how is he a not? How is a leftist in any sense of the term? Of course, he, were, he had strands of socialism. As socialism was a rising idea. Tha. Most people did not know the problems. Yeah. So they felt socialism was opposed to colonial capitalism. That is yeah. different. Yeah. So, just because Bhagat Singh believed in socialism doesn't mean that he would have agreed with what the CPIM or Stalin was doing later on, after his death. Right? Yeah. That is yeah. my other problem. Yaar, Bhagat Singh has read what Lenin has read, you have made him a communist. Haan, yeah. Netaji said, uh, joined uh, forward block. Netaji created forward block and you made him into a leftist. Aray, yeah. log kabhi, they never condoned, uh, they would not have condoned what Stalin or other leftists were doing. Yeah, they would not have condoned anything that the Communist Party did when they were killing Dalits in West Bengal. Yeah, I right. think that is one one aspect of the movie that might be misconstrued by leftists someday if they do watch the movie. Is that now they might start saying uh, Savarkar is a commie, but you see those people, those uh, freedom fighters who are collaborating with uh, with a leftist here, a Nazi there, somebody here, somebody in Afghanistan, left and right, they were they were collaborating with anyone who would have helped them kick out the British. That was their single point agenda. They did not have any they did not have any uh, victory for the ideology in mind. They had only the victory for the country in mind. That is what happens when you have an experiential identity versus an identity based on theory or an LTSC, like Professor Koshi Gongopadhyay would have said. They were yeah. not not LTSC people. Okay, they did not have a linear, linear theory of social evolution. So they were not just leftists or not just Nazis. Anything like Savarkar meets Lenin, asks asks him how to make bombs. He's he talks to the British. He says. I'm not your enemy. The moment you leave, we are friends. I don't have any problem with you. And if, in fact, you lose your independence any day, I'll go and help you. I'll collaborate with you. I don't have any problems with anyone. Like Savarkar's uh, famous quote that I'm Hindu only because you are a Muslim. If you are not, I'm a yeah. Vishwamanav. That that essence gets uh, shown in that that conversation with the with the British person as well. 
and so netaji being a socialist or a capitalist has absolutely no relevance he was collaborating with the nazi you all call him socialist savarkar was meeting up with lenin he had great uh, respect for hsra bhagat singh everyone so where do you think uh, they, they are they are going to want to be fixed into a box they are not they don't care about that no the two things that uh, i think four uh, figures right apart from gandhi who become <coughs> relevant in the 20th century uh, netaji bhagat hmm. singh uh, ambedkar hmm. savarkar okay yeah. uh, if you take four of these people they had hmm. uh, two things in common hmm. they hated the british no i mean not not necessarily for ambedkar that much okay hmm. but definitely netaji bhagat singh and savarkar Hmm. Uh, the British Raj, not the British people. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, they and one thing all four of them have in common for sure is they all hated Gandhi. Okay, mm. yeah, true. <laughs> they were all against Gandhi. Yeah. So that must tell you something about what Gandhi was. I mean, I remember this quote by Ambedkar where he says, "Gandhi showed me his fangs. For others, he was a mahatma, and for me, he was a monster or something like that." Okay, so you you see the. the problem with uh, you know the most the even if even if sarkar is mafi veer or whatever you call him okay netaji bhagat singh and ambedkar people who are respected by most indians mm. as being great um, you know, revolutionary uh, not revolutionary as a as as great freedom fighters mm. right um the one thing they had in common was they all hated gandhi mm. frankly yeah okay and and that tells you something about the fact that you know what 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 savarkar where savarkar stood because the anti gandhian strain was most strongly represented by savarkar yeah in, in through the hindu mahasabha yeah um uh, that that part is where we you know we should we should respect uh, these people no matter what because they stood up they could have easily appeased gandhi and become like gandhi was the big boss after a while hmm. um if you wanted political power and 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 uh, and gandhi did offer uh, some some uh, uh, you know kind of influence to savarkar but but savarkar was was never never compromised on his ideals yeah and uh, either did uh, netaji and uh, bhagat singh for that matter or ambedkar either i mean ambedkar fought with <coughs> gandhi and congress till the very end so that part i believe get, you know deserves respect yeah Now, Absolute based on this uh, comparison, uh, what do you think of this comparison between then the Savarkar movie versus the Gandhi movie, which was the Gandhi movie was funded by a Congress, was done basically to do propaganda, showed Gandhi as as a truly a uh, uh, basically a god, whereas Savarkar is not funded by the BJP, is almost not a hit, is is picking up slowly. Uh, and doesn't really uh, show Savarkar in a unidimensional way, shows his evolution of his character. Okay, now what do you think? Is is Congress a genius for doing that, or or corrupt, or and should BJP do that, or wait for the consciousness of the entire masses to arise on their own and avoid any any possible moral corruption that comes out of funding movies as a political party? No, uh, see, the Congress, like I said, the Congress was not a genius. The Congress simply. Uh, if you if you even look at their post independence politics, right? It was all. about keeping the zamindars and dominant castes in power let's yeah. let's keep one thing in one thing you know that in mind like yeah um the congress represented the old elite mm. in indian society the old mm. guard so to speak <clears throat> and 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 this was this has still not changed if you mm. look at the congresses politics in maharashtra haryana south most mm. places bjp will try to do away with the dominant caste right which will try to bring up more uh, obcs and scs and all that hmm. but congress more or less always sides with the dominant caste be it hmm. muslim or hindu mein jo jo dominant caste hai yadav jat uh, jats um, all kind of ma- marathis they 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 compromise the rest of the society for their you know the regional elites the satraps right hmm. so this aspect this dna of congress has always remained hmm. the bjp and when you say when we think of <coughs> why this remains it's because they are a, essentially they were a safety valve let's let's not forget yeah. they were they were created to pr- protect the landed interests just yeah. like brahmos brahmos were basically representative of landed interests right yeah. um 
so that's the other problem that's you, you see that the congress never worked for india or indians yeah. Yeah, Congress that was the uh, thing relevant we were discussing in the last stream as well. That when something is created with a fr- particular framework to do one yes, particular thing, yes, just yes. because you in you you claim Allah to have changed DNA your intentions, what doesn't Modi mean you actually. Yeah, yeah. Problem hai. <laughs> yes, yeah. and and you will notice that the, even the offshoots of the Congress work in the same way. TMC, yeah. bolo, jo bhi hai. Ha, uh, yeah. they have always worked for the landowning app. Landowner, मतलब हरामिया ये नहीं बोल रहा हूँ मैं. Yeah. But I'm saying that they have always worked in that manner. Yeah. And to protect these interests, they have let basically anyone go to help. Yeah. वो जैसे भी हो. तो yeah. गांधी गांधी को तो बनाएंगे. गांधी uh, family. If you look at the recent podcast on ANI by Shahzad Punawala and that other woman. Hmm. Um, uh, Aditi Singh. Have, uh, yes, Aditi Singh. They have uh, basically bashed Congress for being a family party. मतलब hmm. परिवारवाद, right? Yeah. BJP is not anti parivarwad completely BJP hmm. uses uh, some leaders hmm. but BJP mein wo DNA nahi hai hmm. yeah DNA is of a it's a bug of... not a feature with BJP where it's a where is it's a feature not a bug with congress yeah 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 precisely yeah precisely and the other brilliant scene in the movie is when when Savarkar is finally coming out of the jail and the sound effects give you the impression that there are thousands of people waiting outside the jail then Savarkar comes out and it's complete silence because no one has showed up for his uh, for his coming out of the prison except his elder brother what a brilliant scene and what a brilliant impact again advanced beautiful yeah. filmmaking but the the extra twist on that scene is that even then it does not matter to Savarkar himself he is happy as hell to see his elder brother and he runs and hugs him anyway the the amount of happiness we had seen we had expected from the scene which we felt sort of disillusioned disillusioned with because there was not a crowd in fact is again supplanted because Savarkar smiles and laughs anyway and goes hug goes and hugs his elder brother what a great scene yeah and and that was that was the heartbreaking aspect you know if Savarkar was in parliamentary <coughs> politics before that when he says are gandhi itna bada ho gaya that that thing right <laughs> i mean <laughs> imagine if he was there Gandhi would have been a mouse somewhere, okay, or he would have been a joker. He, I, I think, wo, like I said, what Trump, Biden, yeah, Ramaswamy versus Biden, ho jata. I mean, it was, it would have been a, a joke. Gandhi would have been left as a, the only reason he, we didn't, we took him seriously was because he, he was like pushed on our faces. He was, he was forced on down your throat. Yeah. Okay. And and there weren't people like Savarkar who would provide you a different taste. Yeah, you eat biryani from your local kawa biryani shop. That's you think that is the greatest biryani in the world, right? Yeah. So that's yeah, what Navarum happened. Yeah, the the famous Bengali author once said uh, in terms of watching appreciating good cinema etc. That uh, Sharaji won bhat bhat shabu khela or biryani bhalag beki kore. So if you haven't ah, haven't even had good food, the irony is Navarum Bhattacharya, who is a leftist upper caste, will. <laughs> will then bat for people's rights to get uh, dal bhat forever while he and his chamchas eat biryani in, in Ali yeah. Muddin, right? So, okay, uh, one one yeah. question I need to take because it's directly for you, unknown sociologist, that mysterious sociologist, that which historical figures have been sidelined in South India that needs to be brought back into the limelight? Um, to be very honest, my the limits of my knowledge are with primarily Bengali um, hmm. Revolutionaries and leaders, and and some maybe Mar- Marathi leaders. I I am not very well aware of South India, and and this is the problem. Like we, I have never been exposed to m- many South Indian, uh, you know, uh, political leaders because they uh, so have that, been sidelined. Yeah, they have been sidelined. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't even know about Rajbihari Bose and others. Till till I was I think twenty two or twenty three years old. Yeah, I came Where to know of it I from Sandeep Sanyal like last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I, these people were sidelined so bad. We don't even know half. Tell me how many Bengalis at this point, honestly, know about Master the Shujoshin. Now they know because there's a metro station in his name. Yeah, but they don't know what he did. Yeah, they don't know that <laughs> he basically brought the British to its uh, to its feet, right? Uh, yeah. With the Chottogar Chottogram Ostragar Lunton, he we yeah. did not. How many of us know what he did? How yeah. many of us have even heard of him? I say, uh, considering what's being taught these days, you ask any random school kid about him. I don't know. They'll. I don't think they'll know unless they are 
uh, subscribe to some podcast like uh, you know Jaipur Dialogues or something like that. Yeah. They won't even won't even have heard about the guy. Yeah. Okay. In Bangladesh, I know that they have cleaned the syllabus of him. Yeah. In Bangladesh, they have completely removed. <clears throat> although his work was in Bangladesh. Yeah. Master the Shudroshan's work. Yeah. There was one substandard movie by Abhishek Bachchan and yeah. Deepika called Jeet Khelenge Ham Jijan Se. Yeah. And uh, was that the one know, by the NASA? Uh, NASA NASA scientist who turned director all of a sudden for one movie. I don't uh, remember. Ganesh Pine or something. Okay, I'll have to check. But um, okay, you know it. It wasn't. It wasn't the best possible representation of Master Da. Hmm. Okay. Where? In Abhishek which one was Bachchan there? Uh, Manoj Bajpayee. Any difference between Abhishek Bachchan and maybe Randi Pura? I am. I am not against. No, uh, did it have Manoj Bajpayee? Manoj Bajpayee would have been wonderful. No, did you see the one with Manoj Vajpayee? I think the the one by the NASA scientist was the one with where Manoj Vajpayee played. Oh, Master I've Dha. heard of that as well. I've heard of that. That is the thing. That is the problem, right? Like, yeah. like um, these movies were not, you know, made at the right time. Or I think Manoj Vajpayee exactly. would have been wonderful as yeah. uh, Master Da. That I have but heard is a brilliant was... movie, but again, got got no traction. And in fact, uh, it it got uh, basically clashed with the Abhishek Bachchan movie as well. Oh yeah. And, and I think for that, that Anurag Kashyap was, uh, I think, had some bad relation with Amitabh Bachchan for a few years because Amitabh Bachchan insisted that Abhishek Bachchan's movie come out at that point when the Manoj Vajpayee movie was also coming out, where they basically played the same character. Uh, I even remember, ye Sunny Deol and all had released a version of Bhagat Singh with uh, this guy, um, uh, the Ajay Devgan one, and everyone was yeah. the Ajay Devgan one instead of the <laughs> Sunny yeah, yeah. Deol. Yeah, one. I watched both of them. And, where Bobby Deol was uh, the, you know. Yeah. Uh, where Bobby Deol was Bhagat Singh. Yeah. Lord do you, Bobby. Uh, what do you think of the historical accuracy of the film and how much to you does it matter if you tomorrow find out that some some things were not uh, 100% uh, surely true, shown true? I don't care about accuracy. Hmm. I, I think like a leftist. Hmm. I don't believe in accuracy. I believe that one must seize Vibe. the means of. Yeah. One must seize the means of production. <laughs> okay, man must seize, seize the means of knowledge production. It's as simple as that. Yar propaganda hai to kya hua? Dekh le ya na dekh le. You are you mind go read a history book. Okay, I yeah. don't care honestly. If like I said, we've been watching utter rubbish like Gandhi <clears throat> for 30, 40, 50 years, and even if it part of it is propaganda, I honestly like I said, I never had problems with propaganda. If it is well made, I love it. Okay, of course, it doesn't. We we should not you know we you know the biggest problem with Sanghis is nay two thousand two me na the ye nahi hua wo nahi hua. Are if a person doesn't want to listen to you, wh- wh- why should you give him logic? History, it's not a. Okay, they did move on. Uh, life is life sucks. Move on. It's not a documentary. It is a feature film after all. No, it doesn't matter. Even if it's a fa- you think documentaries don't lie. You think documentaries are all like, like <laughs> full of historical facts, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. The thing is, the left embraces this. The left rigs elections. The left makes propaganda books and movies. The yeah. left. I remember the CPIM. I think had a had a book pamphlet after the Kashmiri Hindu genocide. They even changed they the caste, the religion of the criminals they want to show in a so-called movie based on real life. Yeah, 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 and 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 that's the thing. Like, like you see, Barkhadat never Barkhadat blamed it on. The, so everything, every aspect of the left is based on falsehood. Mm. Why should you know the the Indi Queen be held to a higher standard? I don't know. Kya to kya? Wo, you know what Sanjay Dutt said in Munna Bhai? Cheating kya? Apun bolta hai, khulla kya? Bol kya karega? So just embrace it. Don't don't you know? Don't justify yourself to mm. people who are not worth your time. Embrace it. So, you lied. I lied. Okay. File a case. If you're really that sad about how I lied, file yeah. a case. Yeah. Go or or make a court. counter counter movie <laughs> like like make a Bakle movie did. Where bhi log, jitne bhi log ye dekh rahe, utna bhi nahi dekhenge. Okay. If if a, if one crore people are gonna watch Sarandi Bura, to ek, ek lakh log bhi nahi dekhenge. Watch, make it. 
वैसे भी लेफ्ट का आजकल खराब चल रहा है जस्ट जस्ट मेक इट अ ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट मूवी विद विद डिफरेंट सेक्सुअल एक्सप्लोरेशंस शो शो सावरकर इज ब्लैक एंड गे देन इट विल इट माइट वर्क इन नेटफ्लिक्स नहीं नहीं वो तो नहीं करेंगे सावरकर को बनाएंगे अल्ट्रा गीगा चाहिए ओ या 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 ही विल प्रोबब्ली शो देम शो हिम एज़ व्हाइट ही इज अ व्हाइट ऑफ प्रेजेंस शो हिम फैशिंग माफी रोज माफी नामा लिखता है एंड ऑल दे डू इट मेक इट हु केयर्स सो माफी और और 27 सेवन सेंटेंसेज ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स इन कैप्टिविटी विच शुड वी केयर अबाउट मोर इज 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 इंट लेट से इट वॉज अ माफी एंड इट वॉज नॉट एट ऑल डन जस्ट बिकॉज इट वॉज द नॉर्म ऑफ द लीगल नॉर्म ऑफ दोज डेज इट वॉज इन डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ गांधी ओके लेट्स इवन इग्नोर दैट गांधी ऑल्सो रोट लेटर्स लाइक योर हम्बल सर्वेंट let's even ignore that rajaram mohan roy letters uh, wrote letters claiming how how useless hindu philosophy is or how useless sanskrit is even then isn't a 27 year uh, life in uh, in prisons shouldn't that negate every, any any mention of of an apology letter i'll uh, if anyone mentions an apology letter i'll tell them 27 minute ke liye na police tumhare ghar aayegi ha and they will threaten your family for 27 yeah. minutes तुम कितने माफी नामा लिखोगे मैं देखूंगा आई डोंट केयर इफ ही रोट दैट माफी नामा आई डोंट थिंक एनी वन शुड बिकॉज इट डज नॉट मैटर इफ ही रोट दैट बिकॉज इफ द पुलिस इवन कॉल्स यू अप एंड सेज आई एम कॉलिंग यू फ्रॉम द लोकल पुलिस स्टेशन प्लीज विजिट अस फॉर फाइव मिनट्स टूडे आई थिंक हाफ ऑफ द पीपल विल यू नो शिट दर पैंट्स आई एम सॉरी इफ इफ you know we have we are in no position to judge a person who spent all his life his his adult life trying to help the people of this country in some way or the other i want what, what is the of- argument in favor of not writing the uh, mafi nama why shouldn't he have he, he should have wrote it in andaman till modi ji went and he, uh, you know inaugurated it in 2014 <laughs> yeah. what should, what would you know that's what i'm saying who cares like you know the left it doesn't matter what they say we give them too much attention yeah you if he wrote it whatever he did he did he did whatever he thought was the best scope for him to work right yeah. and and frankly like i said even i i disagree with the fact that he should have been a revolutionary i don't even like that hmm. just like i disagree with the fact that shyam prasad mukherjee should have gone to kashmir in 1953 yeah. Yeah. right i i disagree with all this because kya fayda hua we lost a bunch of good leaders i guess this heroic acts correct. heroic acts inspire other people yeah. so that's if a, anyone says mafi veer mafi veer then say that yeah he should have written it earlier much, he, much, he wrote it much quite yeah. late would so we just have like, just like my dad once said that you know we were seeing that uh, when jyoti basu died and um, uh, it, it was written that you know we are sad that he died so early and my dad was like yeah, he died too late actually because he should have died 40 years ago so waise yeah. tha even with same with gandhi a lot of uh, i heard people clapping when sawa when god yeah. says shot gandhi <laughs> in this movie yeah. so i think like people appreciate you know just own it just own it it doesn't matter yeah right just own who you are stop defending i guess uh, uh, doing inspiring things is also kind of important would we have a batman if his parents were not shot wouldn't he be just another spoiled brat in gotham city and left the inspiring city for for jobs for whom inspiring for for whom? batman no i i know but the point is that you know sometimes you know balidan dena is not always the best thing best course Tyag. of action tyag look at look at master the for example look at master the solution right yeah सावरकर तो फिर भी माफी वीर बोलो जो भी बोलो पीपल पीपल आर डिस्कसिंग हिम नो बट इवन डिस्कस मास्टर द सूर्य आई थिंक वेट द ओनली टू पीपल ऑल ओवर इंडिया हु आर डिस्कसिंग हिम राइट ओके नो बडी टॉक्स अबाउट दिस पीपल एनी वे वॉट वॉज द पॉइंट यू आर अ ब्रिलियंट पर्सन यू नो सेव योर सेल्फ इफ इफ रिक्वायर्ड ओके योर फैमिली नीड्स यू योर कंट्री नीड्स यू टू बी अ लाइफ और तुम लोग मर गए इसलिए गांधी आ गया आई मीन द the problem is half these people are either dead or or they were in jail and that's why we had a prime minister like nehru i'm sorry who was sorry ka kya i mean nehru was the worst thing that could have happened to us at that time right and and why that's the thing if he if these guys stayed alive or if these guys stayed out of jail if netaji was in mainstream <clears throat> politics i i like i said the british would have gone anyway in the 40s every country was declaring independence from the british empire hmm. so netaji would have 
कैन यू इमेजिन वॉट नीता जी वुड हैन इफ यू आर अलाइव और अलाइव तो थे मतलब इफ यू आर इन मेन स्ट्रीम पॉलिटिक्स एंड नॉट इन हाइडिंग वेल माई ब्राह्मण फ्रेंड फ्रॉम कॉलेज स्ट्रीट कोलकाता प्रेसिडेंसी कॉलेज हैज सेट दैट नेता जी वुड नॉट हैव बीन एनी बेटर फॉर अस हिस्टोरिकली बिकॉज इंस्टेड ऑफ इंग्लिश वी वुड जस्ट हैव बीन स्पीकिंग जर्मन एंड लिव इन अ मिलिट्री स्टेट With of course great industrialization. अरे तो भी तो मर गया 45 में तो नेता जी कहाँ सर? I don't understand. See, this is so stupid. It it's uh, you know this kind of so what we has had was much better or what like uh, like Nehru. Yeah. Uh, we had IITs, uh, English education. We had a we had a socialist uh, government with with no scope for businesses. Everyone trying to get a government job till their bloody 35 or something, and then mm. they you know we we had nothing. we had yeah. nothing after independence the first five education ministers were from a religion that tried to divide this land so yeah. what what did we get after independence because these great minds were not available to us yeah that i say savarkar yeah. like written is mercy petition the day he went to england or whatever like jaise first time commit kiya mercy petition likho <laughs> yeah by pair paro british i don't mind i have to stay alive right i don't mind i don't want to be a like martyr and sorry martyrdom does not get you much in this life do you think okay. savarkar's ideas would have been as uh, successful if he had not reached this heroic status because of the tragedy tragedies in his life aren't we appreciating more because he had such tragedies is it it's like rooting for the underdog no i don't necessarily think so because he was already in fact see when uh, why did they show lenin because lenin had uh, done armed revolution jo bhi ho jo bhi bolo hmm. whether that was good or bad i'm not going to get into that we we've hmm. already spoken about that at yeah time, and savarkar right? would have had no way of knowing that w- whether that would lead to good things or bad things for for yeah yeah, yeah but the point is in the early 9 20th century with the exception of india hmm. there were many parts of this world that were seeing armed revolutions hmm. in different ways hmm. so it's not like this idea that indians can do armed revolution hmm. against the british hmm. was some alien idea yeah okay savarkar was a proponent of that it's just that my point is instead of going to kalapani and instead of going to england and you know getting uh, messed up in the process he he could have put that idea electorally here like he could have asked hmm. people to join the army like when he came back after ratnagiri hmm. right in ratnagiri when he was there hmm. he told people that you know join the army yeah. learn how to use modern weapons yeah create that create the uh, martial force hmm. ye martial race ka baat hatao most people join the army yeah learn how to fight <clears throat> yeah because he knew that this would be the future of india if men learned how to fight men and women we would have a much different land than than the stupid land of ahimsa right hmm. uh, and and we remained a land of land of snake charmers because of that because hmm. we did not embrace modernity yeah. savarkar embraced modernity that's what i'm saying that a person like him rotted in jail for the wrong reasons yeah you see you liberals he was influential his his like he without going to jail even if he just gave some fiery speeches what i what i heard of his speeches was Hmm. He was an excellent orator. Hmm. Sometimes you need that more than a guy, you know, uh, throwing a bomb at somebody. Yeah. Okay. You see, liberals don't ever understand that there are no solutions. There are only trade-offs. What liberal leftists? Leftists. 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 Yes. They there are, are no liberal. solutions. Only trade-offs, as Thomas Sowell says. So they they convince a lot of lay people and let's say normies the 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 top soil so, so, social critics or observers uh, people who think they are watching the society observing the society but are actually being fed absolute rubbish <coughs> rubbish narratives they believe in a in a in a count in a in a bunch of things but then w- that thing goes to hell anyway and then they are made to suffer whereas if they didn't believe in that basket of flowery things and nice dialogues they would have fought anyway. and and would have gotten gotten over with and and then would have had a had a great country for themselves anyway why was why was this uh, hindu muslim uh, sort of a civil war situation avoided so that least people die so that no people die that was the goal but then 20 people end up dying 20 million people end up dying anyway because of the partition like yeah. th- that's the happens with with this idea of uh, rights as well that ankit shah mentions uh, these days in podcasts which is absolutely true anyone who has been into s- uh, certain situations like these know that there are no rights that you can you have god given basically all your rights in are in theory books they cannot be enforced in thin air 
you can only seek some some uh, some validations or sort of a thing after that right has been taken away from you then you can you can file a case then maybe justice will be served to you maybe even that won't reach you but rights first and foremost happen only if you are there in huge numbers you go to a police station with with 200 people your job is much easier you stand even in the court with with 500 people outside or inside that matters but everyone who believes in in just rights that no the law law is fair or the police are fair or the politicians are fair the minister is fair their life gets screwed mostly that's the same with believing in this uh, yeah, all the people who believed in the partition there is a, there is, a, there is <coughs> an aspect called presentism okay okay where you think you would have made a different choice hmm compared to people in the past hmm um what what Uh, I think Bill Maher had hmm. a wonderful video. I disagree with Bill Maher on many issues, hmm. but I agree with him on certain things. Like um, when he said that, yeah, you act like you wouldn't have been a slave owner uh, in the 17th century, <laughs> if or 18th century. Ask uh, the American white liberals, right? Hmm. You act like uh, you would never have. Vice uh, versa, same thing. You act like you would have never written a mercy petition back in the day. You act like you would have never done this. You would act like you never. bhai people were you know at that time people were dying like flies and mosquitoes okay hmm. the situation was such that the country was uh, like like there was there was a there were famines yeah there were uh, there were there were huge problems and people would sell their kidneys just to live uh, two more days yeah. at that point and people you know we judge everyone from our high horse uh, particularly the left right and they act like they've uh, they they would have done things differently bro you don't do anything you you think ordering ordering food from zomato and uh, swiggy is a good idea uh, you think you think wearing masks uh, <laughs> you know wearing disposable masks is a good idea for the environment what you do or you you think taking a taking a jet to davos uh, to discuss what environment or whatever or economics uh you think that is a good idea none of these are good ideas your what you act like you what you think is the right thing should have been followed by everyone that is why i don't call them liberals that is why i call them leftists yeah and that's exactly how bill maher compared the presence you know bunch of leftists as uh similar to the chinese uh, communist party back in the day under mao yeah when they initiated the cultural revolution Yeah. कि माओ ने जो बोला है उससे कोई डिविएट हो गया yeah. और पोलपोट व्हेन समबडी वेयर्स ग्लासेस उससे कोई डिविएट हो गया hmm. तो ही इज अ हॉरिबल थिंग लुक एट सावरकर द डूड हैड द डूड वाज अ ब्राह्मण हु एट मीट हु सेड एम्ब्रेस मॉडर्निटी कास्ट सिस्टम हटाओ ही सेड ऑल दिस स्टफ या लेफ्ट को सिर्फ एक ही प्रॉब्लम है कि कॉल्ड हिमसेल्फ अ हिंदू एक ही प्रॉब्लम है hmm. उनको गांधी से प्रॉब्लम नहीं है क्योंकि गांधी सेट खिलाफत अच्छा है Yes. So Gandhi was way way worse. Gandhi was a racist. Hmm. Okay, he was he he said that you can't compare Indians with blacks because Indians are superior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. आज के दिन में बोलता तो कुड़ा cancel. I think he would have been kicked out of world. Sir, train नहीं हर university की plane से भी उनको हटा देते. His statue Alak would have been broken down or brought down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they, it has been broken down once in Africa or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So so the thing is that uh, तुम्हारा बाप जो है गांधी उसने ये किया चे गुएरा वॉज अ मास मर्डर ओके एंड एवरी वन यू यू थिंक ऑफ इज अ गुड पर्सन और वॉज अ गुड पर्सन इज आइडर रेपिस्ट और मर्डर और बोथ और सम काइंड ऑफ यू नो फेक साधु बाबा और समबड़ी लाइक दैट इट डजेंट इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट यू थिंक इज राइट एंड दैट्स वाई आई थिंक यू शुड बी अनबोलोजेटिक अबाउट योर परस्पेक्टिव Dristikon. Oh my God, that's the thing we have to discuss. One of the brilliant yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of uh, uh, hint that a uh, sort of motif in the movie is perspective, and the word Dristikon yeah. itself revolves around like a motif where Savarkar at different points tells different people to look at this problem in front of you or look at this issue in front of you from a different Dristikon. Okay, and yes. it's literally also a, a motif in the movie because. Every time a character is introduced, we are watching the scenario, watching the set from the drishtiko, yes. literal drishtiko of the person. So when Gandhi enters yes. for the first time, yes. as, it's as if we are Gandhi itself, uh, Gandhi himself entering a room. Yeah, yeah, Whether, yeah, yeah, when yeah. we are uh, uh, Bhagat Singh for the first time, we are seeing th- from his perspective. Su- such interesting techniques were were shown in the movie. Yeah, 
no no it's brilliant i i am telling you the filmmaking aspect is i mean uh, we have said enough about that <laughs> what i'm saying is i think the one aspect about uh, what we what we can take away from uh, this movie or or savarkar's life in general is fight for what you believe and fight fight dirty if required you know what why savarkar wanted to align with germans and the uh, the japanese despite their you know um, the problems in those countries he i am pretty sure he was aware of how horrible they were the, those governments but for him they were weapons yeah he was a leftist somewhere you know he thought like a leftist hmm he was not a leftist but he thought like a leftist he was like yaar lenin se bomb banana na lenin se hath milao theek hai british ko maarna hai german se hath milao he did not mind and that and is an experiential identity as opposed to an identity based on theory yeah 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 ye theory wale waise bhi uh, they've never faced any adversity in life so it's easier for them <laughs> yeah uh, so so once you once you have to like i said once you once you put yourself in that situation where you have to rat out a friend hmm. or or stay silent and hmm. get killed yourself that hmm. kind of situation when when the joker do, do you remember what the joker said like in the dark night like uh he gave, he did the social experiment which i think would uh-huh. have uh, would have had a very different outcome in the real life personally exactly. if you ask that was basically the milgram experiment right have you heard of that experiment in stanford stanley milgram not the not this one no okay no. that was basically the reinter- jail one i heard of the jail one and yeah yeah that one only uh, that was basically the inter- oh, yeah, interpretation yeah, that one, yeah, of that yeah, yeah. one yeah 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 where you were supposed and, to and, shock and, the people beside even, you and wo batman mein alag dikha hai hmm. but fact is that batman was a idealistic figure that's why yeah. but given the choice the first thing they would have done is blown up the other ship i i don't think <laughs> you know we we hold humans in high regard yeah but when the chips are people, down these so called civilized people will eat each other yeah 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 and that's true that we have seen during the famines during partition during wherever you think that people just escape many times they ratted on their neighbors to save themselves and that's okay that's okay you know when when you when you have to survive yourself you make choices when you have to survive in andaman cellular jail you have to write a mafi nama i would have written a mafi nama every morning and night and six times there. in sol- 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 uh, solitary how, what kind of a british stooge goes to six times in solitary how how much friends was he with the british was he defeating them in chess or ludo or something that he got to Yaar, got british sent to solitary tha to problem kya tha british stooge tha to problem bhi kya tha no we must attack this ये अलग अलग लेवल से अटैक करो ब्रिटिश तो क्या था गांधी ब्रिटिश सूज नहीं था तुम अभी उनका नोट में थोबरा नहीं देखते उनका हाँ ब्रिटिश टूज बैक देन एक्सेप्ट सावरकर एंड नेताजी एंड ऑल यार ब्रिटिश के साथ इवन एवरी वन एट डील विद एट समेवल राइट लाइक आई सेट इट्स वेरी इजी फॉर अस टू सिट बैक एंड यू नो समिंग दीज आर द सेम पीपल Who will who will let's say abuse the TMC right now or the BJP? Hmm. But if if they need a if they need some kind of government benefits, they are the first ones who will stand in line and ask them ask them from Modi. Yar, tumko itna wo Modi ji ko fascist lagta hai na? Passport jala do, become a true revolutionary. The, the, throw away your Aadhaar card, throw away all your documents, kagaz jala do. Ha, ye sab you know it sounds all good in theory. but everyone does everything they must do to survive and 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 live their lives okay yeah and and avarkar should not be held as uh, you know superhuman he was human albeit a very power a very a very determined and and and, and moralistic one in my mm. opinion yeah because he always spoke up for the oppressed yeah under the british raj yeah or european colonialism yeah like jordan peterson says that okay you think uh, a high population is bad for the environment there's a there's a very easy way to take care of it right now <laughs> why don't you do it yourself do it yeah 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 precisely it's very easy to judge somebody especially a historical figure for their shortcomings right yeah and, uh, and one and of the why if you look at the justice league right like the justice league has a number of issues where batman envisions a uh, batman he said like there are number of uh, events where batman and superman and everyone turns evil wo jo uh, the the superman ka jo tha na wo he is lois is killed and he goes crazy yeah yeah and he kills everyone yeah. right uh, <laughs> who is against him. and that's what it says like it's on a bad day superman is way worse than joker and uh, uh, 
everyone combined right, right. Uh, it doesn't matter it's yeah. just you're one bad day away from being your worst enemy you yeah, don't maybe. you're the only reason you're able to judge people is because you had a cushy life <laughs> in your uh, cbhk flat and you're you're sitting on the internet and abusing everyone you don't like yeah okay That's and what do you think of the 27 years in andaman <laughs> what do you think of the criticism that savarkar is too liberal and that's not a good that's, thing that's, for hindus that's stupid uh, that's stupid i think liberalism is the greatest strength hinduism has the the thing people forget is liberalism like just like just to protect waise bhi wo sab jali tha lekin fir bhi where the way the way the british and the french and all to protect liberalism joined hands with russia and defeated the nazis right hmm. that's the ideological <coughs> part of the argument whether it was yeah. true or not ye alag baat hai yeah ha so liberalism needs to be protected with guns liberalism is matlab ye nahi ki tum you know every point of view is valid there is no morality there mm. is no this no it's not that savarkar mm. was not for not fighting for your rights mm. okay yeah. yeah either two types of people say uh, mm. i think one type of person thinks that he is um you know uh, uh, what is it he 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 is a liberal yeah if you yourself are illiberal enough to uh consider that your caste identity is not absolute yeah <laughs> right and caste uh, apart from caste i don't see how he was even liberal per se yeah he did not want akhand uh, bharat to be destroyed uh, to be to be cut in the, four, four. the other criticism with with the molana modi wing about savarkar is that uh savarkar said that even a beef eater can be hindu if he just considers this nation this land mass as as pavitra and his his uh, pitrabhumi and has respect for it and his loyalty is towards this landmass yeah i have eaten beef i don't mind i i i don't care uh, you know that doesn't mean you see the problem of them being defining hinduism by the lens of their again same thing as left is do that they they define something by their own position that doesn't you know that doesn't make you uh superior to others i'm sorry i i by saying that i may have list off some of your trad viewers but it doesn't matter right hmm. what matters is whether you care for the community i've seen super super powerful like um vegetarian religious hindus who have done who have done absolutely absolutely everything against uh, the hindus hmm. when given an opportunity Hmm. right uh they have sold out their community they have sold out everything that they that their community uh, believes in for hmm. me it's not about it's not about your religious practices which anywhere is not unified in hinduism there's no we don't have a quran or bible to to regulate who um you know who who can uh, say that what is absolute absolutely wrong or absolutely right we hmm. don't have that kind of a religion if we had maybe i could have ag- ag- agreed at some level hmm. firstly that is not there secondly if that is not there then why are we why are we you know wh- why is hindutva important hmm. as savarkar said that it is whoever considers this land to be their sacred ancestral land hmm. now debates might come ha huh, is sacred ancestral land ke you know um uh alag uh, baat hai ki the, the, the cow is a representative and all hmm. i am not going to go into that i don't think that if if you do can't eat cow can't eat anything hmm. you can't eat uh, you know um, uh, fish you can't eat uh, if you believe in ahimsa at that level hmm. then you can't even breathe because that is no, my understanding no cow is specifically religious because cow is a repository is of many gods i agree but my point is that by that logic we exclude a large number of hindus if you if your thing is you can't eat a cow you don't eat a cow so you are superior to people who eat a cow hmm. then by that logic you exclude a number of hindus as well to to raho tum 2% log uh, india mein baki sab kaha jayenge aur baki sab rahenge tum log bahar jao what what can i say maybe so maybe that, it's that, uh, best to encourage possible. people that no after all still try to avoid beef that would be the argument from them that is different hmm but i i am my point is that it does not it does not make one a non hindu hmm. if you if you believe that you love this land and the people in it hmm. the people who believe that 
this land is sacred to them as well hmm. and you will do anything to protect their rights to hmm. live and 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 to freedom yeah. then it does not matter you are hmm. a vegan i am a i i eat all kinds of meat hmm. it does not matter i will fight for your right to speak hmm. i will write mercy petitions for you to uh, uh, to uh, kya bolte hai who is the ceo of google sundar pichai brown sahib okay yeah. i will write mercy petitions on your behalf so that you survive and you will do the same for me yeah right and that is where we are different we don't exclude people we don't say yaar ye kafir hai isko hatao ye non believer hai isko hatao we, we are superior to these thought processes because we don't judge people that hard for their personal choices yeah that's why kk mohammed says he would be he would love to be a hindu hmm okay and it doesn't it doesn't so dekho ye log in the comment section these people are now obsessed with yeah, yeah let them let them have a nice debate about no that's fine that's why yeah. i don't mind see the it's a fun conversation to have it doesn't matter whether you call me a hindu i am a hmm. hindu hmm. i think i have done more for our community than hmm. many others have done it's fine hmm. you you might not you might refrain from eating meat and cows and you might think that you have done a great thing it hmm. it, it depends on drishtikon same old point yeah same old point we have yeah actually here to learn asked an interesting uh, question uh, uh, just a while back that uh, did savarkar uh, take the british pensions wasn't that also a basically a legal norm that or if he did reject, reject that again he would starve to death anyway uh, what do you think of the the pension thing no he had to do he had to do what he had to do to survive again mm. and and you know like i said it even if he grew even if he took pensions even if he hmm. outright you know uh, shook hands with the viceroy general hmm. okay it doesn't matter hmm. because what he did after that what he did during hmm. that has he saved this country that ideology is currently saving this country hmm. at this dark hour after 2014 right hmm. so uh, that is why you know this is this is the problem that that if we if we look into the nitty gritties of everything hmm. uh including whether he wrote a mercy petition whether he took a pension whether he uh, you know uh, you know hmm. uh, fought for, uh, whether whatever he did whether he Uh, fought hard enough for the indians you're right it doesn't matter because he represents for me a an ideal figure of modernity hmm. who who was able to uh bridge the gap between the political hinduism that is absolutely necessary hmm. for us to survive all yeah. hindus to survive hmm. and uh between the old traditional idea when i say traditional quote and quote traditional ideas of what hindu identity is and that there i see a more gandhian thing where he is more you know he appeals to the more religious identity rather than hmm. there might be hindus who are not at all religious who hmm. never went to a temple who never prayed to a god who never hmm. um uh, you know uh, who have no nothing to do hmm. with uh, the present practices of hinduism hmm. but if they fight for, so so if like declan quickly for example for me he is a bigger hindu than many Hmm. because he has produced knowledge that has helped hindus hmm. uh in 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 big in a huge way academically hmm. yeah and he is now suffering because of, he is now in own in his own version of andaman jail yeah okay now my <clears throat> point is that it doesn't matter who's fighting if if somebody has fought for us at this level hmm. then that is that is uh, that allows them to be you know more of a hindu then hmm. somebody who does not eat beef and follows every ritual and everything and and then you know goes and uh, doesn't do anything for the community yeah this br- this brings to mind the question that uh, have people really understood savarkar even on the on the so called right wing side because is he just a, a a person to unite all religious hindus is he a person who also did Uh, of course it is not easy he did a uh, call for protection of cows so was he uh, just a vegetarian uh, b- b- poster boy or was he focused fo- first and foremost on on sangathan political hinduism has that really been understood what is the essence of savarkar so i believe uh, because shuddhi and sangathan were the main stay of hindu mahasabha right like hmm. uh somebody like uh, swami shraddhanandan yet hmm. another revolutionary person hmm. jo revolution he did not do mm-hmm. but he did more for hindus than any other person i know of that mm. period so he what he did was he used to give the schedule castes 
uh, uh, Vedas and used to give them the sacred thread, hmm. the Janeu. And used to say, you are Brahmins now. It doesn't yeah. matter. We don't have caste. Hmm. Uh, so, Ambedkar praised him heavily in yeah. his two books. What Congress yeah. has done for the, done against the, uh, how Congress uh, cheated the untouchables or something. Yeah. And even Pakistan or the partition of India where he addresses how Swami Shraddhanand was <clears throat> murdered in uh, daylight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Swami Shraddhanand was a brilliant figure and one of the founding fathers of Hindu Mahasabha. Hmm. And uh, Swami Shraddhanand was all about Sangathan and Shuddhi. Many uh, lower caste said pork, beef, this, that. Okay. Yeah. If he, he said that, bhai, we are being attacked on all sides. Hmm. If we start excluding our own brothers and sisters, hmm. okay, then then we are we will be dead in a few few generations. See, this is another and problem of believing in that imagined reality versus the realities on the ground. That that some hmm. people end up believing in the only the narrative and not the realistic side of it, and then get screwed because of it. Uh, even in yeah, the absolutely. in the vegan sections, I used to have a vegan WhatsApp groups. I used to have this con same conversation that whether you should uh, debate people aggressively, whether you should not debate, whether you should use a, c a color a painting thing to to basically deface different statues. It doesn't matter what is the way. Use every weapon in your arsenal. <laughs> this is what some yeah. some people in every ideology doesn't get. And what oh, ideology matlab kya ideology is basically if you look at um, what ideologies have been born out of, right? Uh, think about it. Like communism, like I said, in my view, communism in the in the USSR was born out of a desire to protect the new czarist regimes that would emerge after the czars czar fell. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> communism in China emerged because of a similar reason. Hmm. Communism here emerged uh, in its present form because the upper caste wanted to protect their interests. Yes. So the the ideology and the pragmatic reality are very right. different. Yeah. What these things. Yeah. Yeah. It does not matter what they say. It's about what they do. That hmm. that's what matters. Hmm. If Savarkar helped Netaji to contact Rajbiari Bose and. Uh, that challenged the British eventually, mm. the British might mm. militarily with the help of Japan. Mm. Then Savarkar has done way more than for Indian independence than any other person I know mm. or I've heard of, mm. whether you like it or not. Yeah. And actually, one of the things that the movie does, I don't know how much is it impactful because most people on the Indic wing kind of know these things already. But hoping that someday some kid is f watching Savarkar for the first time who's not really that into that much into politics. But I hope by that time it will already be common knowledge that even Ambedkar was opposed to Gandhi. Even Ambedkar was in favor of Hindus, protecting Hindus from Muslims. Jinnah was a liberal. All these things also have been shown in the movie, which is an insanely important thing to do. How 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 important do you think are these things? Because I kind of think that al already a lot of most people know it in the Indic wing circles. No. No, 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 no. A lot of people don't know what Ambedkar actually said about <laughs> Islam, or what Ambedkar said about Pakistan, hmm. what Ambedkar, uh, you know, actually thought of, you know, a lot of people aren't aware that Ambedkar wrote one of the most uh, important things after um, uh, the Mopla massacre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Scathing. Uh, the Mopla genocide. Yeah. He, he, he absolutely attacked Gandhi after his stance yeah. on the Moplas. Yeah. So these things were not known. I think Ambedkar deserves, if, 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 Uda can make a similar film for Ambedkar, that would also be awesome. Hmm. Because what about, you know, I think what should be the focus of that film will, will be how he absolutely hated Gandhi. Hmm. And he spared no words. He he called <coughs> him a fraud. He called him whatever, matlab, hmm. even your worst enemies <laughs> would not address you that way, the way Ambedkar uh, addressed Gandhi. Actually, that right? that's what I noticed, that the way you get the vibe of Ambedkar from reading Ambedkar, that was what was portrayed in the movie as well. That Ambedkar for the entire portion yes. in the movie is just pissed off, walking about in the room. He's always very angry with someone. Yeah, that yeah, was how yeah, he was yeah, portrayed. yeah. And and the scene where Jinnah and Gandhi and he are discussing Khilafat, hmm. you will notice his face is hidden in a shadow. Yeah. As if he is being hidden by Gandhi's shadow. It's like that. It's a, yeah. like Gandhi has put him in the dark deliberately. Yeah. It is All the light like, is on Jinnah. Yeah, the light is on Jinnah and Jinnah bhi usko bol ki, bhai, ye Ali brothers, they are jokers. Okay, <laughs> I don't like all this. And and this is, you know, Gandhi, Gandhi was like, if, if somebody played a prank on you and you died as a result, Gandhi was something like that that the British did with us. <laughs> so you know? many missed opportunities to, to basically even unite people. So many missed opportunities with so many people. Like even... 
if darashiko had not been killed by orangzeb okay if darashiko's father had been a little more pragmatic and been a little more muslim said ahmed barelvi would not have convinced orangzeb that see what's this rubbish that's going on in the name of islam you be a more pure muslim kill this elder brother of yours who's translating vedant in arabic and, and making everyone read it and that's when the trajectory of indian history changed again who knows what what, what could have been if darashiko took over yeah precisely and 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 that's where you know i i like i enjoy quentin tarantino movies for that reason he mm. he kind of changes the historical uh, trajectory and mm. i think you know eventually a time could come when we could make such movies if the if the audience was ready for it yeah it would be a very niche kind of movie alternate history if savarkar did not go to jail if savarkar did not yeah. go to jail kya hota remember Something one like that. one justice league I, episode I, I, that what if nazis that. won <laughs> Now this one has been done a lot i think yeah. man in the high tower and uh, something like yeah, even in justice league that... batman goes to the alternate alternate reality they go to yeah, the alternate yeah, yeah, reality yeah, yeah, yeah. to to rescue batman batman got stuck in the <laughs> nazi germany nazi world yes 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 and 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 that's uh, like the west has done all this the yeah. west has shown... we need a sequel to savarkar where savar it's all about savarkar and ambedkar's letters conversations and both of their upbringing oh, yeah, yeah, from different point of views from dr- different drishtikons an upper caste no, and a lower ambedkar... caste ambedkar i think even uh, served as his lawyer on one occasion if i'm not mistaken like i see his advocate um ambedkar ambedkar is also misunderstood by a lot of people you know ambedkar was basically an academic hmm. and a brilliant academic hmm. and uska wo tha ki matlab he is seeing that people are dumb like people around him are stupid they're following one loser who came from south africa just because he's acting like a sadhu baba okay hmm. wo he's he's like imagine like if you if you tell your family to family and friends to watch yeah. uh you know spielberg or christopher nolan and and even this movie and or and, the, and you see your brother watching uh, baba kano chakur okay hmm. or whatever and he says oh this is wonderful and yeah. and you, you the the way you will bash your head against the wall <laughs> i i see ambedkar being a person like that like yaar mai bol raha hu mai books likh raha hu i'm giving you nice logic you are following this right 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 you know, Jackass, this Joker, yeah. who is who, who's who's basically a British agent. Hmm. हम लोग जानते हैं he's a British agent. Okay, <coughs> it it doesn't matter. Okay. A lot of people have made the criticism of Ambedkar that uh, whenever he was talking about Hindu safety uh, from uh, from Muslims, it was just to to protect Dalit interests. Uh, what do you think of that criticism? Wouldn't he have more been more precise and said that what about the safety of Dalits? But in the entire a uh, pakistan or partition book in all the famous quotes he goes on saying hindu ka kya hoga he mentions the word hindu repeatedly why was he all of a no, sudden a hindu sympathizer he mentions the word hindu hmm. and he the mopla mein usne he he could have said yaar good some upper caste died in the process he never said anything like that i'm sorry but this is just again one of those you know people who use presentism to judge the past and all that and and ambedkar is a very very interesting figure you 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 can read his books you'll understand so much hmm. um about what's happening and his frustrations even with savarkar in his book <clears throat> pakistan of the partition of india hmm. he attacks even savarkar but utna bhi attack matlab attack attack nahi hai hmm. it's more like a friend yaar mera dost ye bol raha hai but ye hoga nahi hmm. he's saying that savarkar wants to keep uh the country intact hmm. but uh, muslims won't allow him to do that he openly hmm. bolta hai wo hmm. and you can you can understand that yaar even somebody like the tone is something like this yaar savarkar is such a uh, intelligent guy and even he thinks like this ye hmm. hoga nahi okay um have and, you read the read the bible for every indian sociologist the annihilation of caste oh yeah long time back have okay. you read it without uh, arundhati roy's forward or the one with with arundhati roy's forward No I had read it without Arundhati Roy's foreword hmm. because I think I had a Xerox copy of it okay. back in college I I don't even remember I okay. you remember how they give notes in Kolkata colleges right yeah so um I just had a Xerox of it and I read hmm. it and I did not think much about it because it didn't seem like the worst kind of thing ever I mean the the entire yeah, impression I got was about... that it was going on talking about Hindu unity and nothing else he's just frustrated with Hindus that why aren't you as united as Muslims that's what he seems to be going on saying Yeah, 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 and 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 the other thing is that, uh, with the exception of a few books, um, mm-hmm. if you read, if you read, for example, um, his book Buddha Buddha versus Marx, mm-hmm. I think every communist should be made to read that <laughs> book. 
वेर ही बेसिकली यू नो बहुत आई मीन ही वॉज रेस्पेक्टफुल ऑफ मार्क्स बट यू नो बट ही ही काइंड ऑफ शोड देम द हिपोक्रेसी द फैलसीज ऑफ ऑफ कॉम्युनिज्म ही सेड यार बंदूक दिखा के तुम इक्वालिटी नहीं ला सकते यू कैन टेल एवरी वन टू बी इक्वल बिकॉज यू होल्ड अ गन टू इज हेड ओके एंड एंड you know it's it's wonderful like ambedkar ambedkar has written stuff even savarkar would not uh, has not written yeah population okay. exchange is a, is a farther right wing concept ha what i could uh, your uh, yeah. stream went away ambedkar ambedkar is farther right wing of savarkar when it comes to population exchange he ambedkar was in alignment with what many trads would have said absolutely absolutely and uh, <laughs> he says that in very unapologetically can you yeah, imagine and you were sangathan ka baat hi i you know ambedkar and all the all the look at it this way when 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 people ask when the left ask what did uh, rss do for the freedom movement okay mm-hmm. so i can say what did the cpm do for the freedom seat of cpm was not born then okay number 1 number 2 rss ho ya jo bhi ho the present dna of hindutva activists in india hmm. are derived from hindu mahasabha and the sangh Okay. Mm. Now, if you see Hindu Mahasabha, Hindu Mahasabha has done way more for the independence of this country mm. than the Sangh, uh, the the than the Congress ever did, the left ever did. Okay. Okay, that, that's Think something about, leftists would vehemently uh, disagree with because according okay, to them, Congress so did I'll everything. Okay. So I give you I give you two examples of mm. how the left loved um, uh, you know the the freedom movement of India. Mm. So when Netaji Subhas goes to Germany. Mm. uh he's escaping from the british hmm. the communists were the one who tried to get him uh, arrested by the british police i see okay sham menegal's movie has shown this and oh. this is uh, kind of common knowledge okay 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 uh now when when he reaches germany any any kind of uh, you know shakes his hand with hitler hmm. uh not because he's a nazi but because <laughs> he loves this country and he will fight yeah. against the british yeah uh then what they do is they call him tojor kukur after mm. he goes to japan tojo's dog cartoons where they show netaji as uh, the as a pet dog mm. for general tojo mm. um and and that's how you know their investment in the yeah. indian uh, struggle for independence mm. or not just that many of the uh, people who went to kalapani uh, you know during savarkar's mm. time or other than that <laughs> many of them came back after 2 to 3 years many mm. of them were bengali so bengali say ah 90% kalapani people went were bengalis right theek mm. hai i i agree mm. that doesn't mean that doesn't mean much if they come back and become communists who are essentially for who who okay another hypocrisy of the communists so till 1941 mm. till hitler and stalin had a no, non aggression treaty amongst themselves yeah they were they thought hitler was their kaka they thought hitler was the chacha ji okay nehru nahi the to chacha ji default wahi ho gaye okay because stalin was their father hmm. so unka bhai ho gaya chacha ji hmm. ah. so right when uh, operation barbossa happens and, and germany attacks uh, russia hmm. okay then they like hey are nahi chacha ji is now bad okay hmm. oh and netaji is aligning with chacha ji are wo to wo bhi kharab hai hmm. okay so their their desire was never to save um india from the clutch, clutches of the british yeah their mm-hmm. alignment was whatever russia did now if stalin supported the british hmm. uh, which he did he became an a- a- ally hmm. right um then then you know they they are they became uh, kind of they they were not totally against the british raj in the in many ways and not to yeah. mention when the when the partition was happening hmm. they said minority has the f- uh, first right of self determination yeah first india must be divided then we will get independence yeah yeah and communist leaders like yeah. gangadhar odhikari were first we get independence yeah. then we will decide whether we break this country or not yeah. ab- amongst ourselves yeah jo bhi us civil war ho jaye to bhi and they didn't want just two pieces they wanted multiple pieces of of india to go to pakistan and randomly here and there a true balkanization ah, as they say gangadhar adhikari's plan was that pura hi pakistan bana denge yeah. but anyway the, the point is that the communists were were in are in no position to lecture anyone about anything is congress What? in a position to lecture hindu mahasabha supporters these days that you all didn't ask for uh, independence congress congress has done <laughs> Done so many crimes in its 
लाइफटाइम फ्रॉम 1895 दैट दे इंपोज इमरजेंसी किसी को फैशिस्ट नहीं बोल सकते दे डिड डोमिनेंट कास्ट पॉलिटिक्स किसी को मैं कास्टिस्ट नहीं बोल सकते दे डिड दे दे कोलैबोरेटेड विद द ब्रिटिश ऑन मेनी ओकेशंस किसी को देशभक्त यू नो किसी को गद्दार नहीं बोल सकते दे दे व्हाट एवर दे कॉल अदर पीपल दे हैव डन इट देमसेल्फ सो मेनी टाइम्स बट यू नो देयर सपोर्टर्स हैव अ शॉर्ट मेमोरी इज मेमोरी का भी बात नहीं है लाइक आई सेड इट्स ऑलवेज बीन द कोलैबोरेटर क्लास कांग्रेस एंड लेफ्ट हैव ऑलवेज कोलैबोरेटेड विद फॉरेन इंटरेस्ट अगेंस्ट इंडिया इन डिफरेंट वेज नेताजी सुभाष को क्या हुआ नेताजी सुभाष वाज बिट्रेड फॉरगेट सावरकर सावरकर माफी वीर फॉरगेट हिम व्हाट अबाउट नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस व्हाट वाज योर स्टैंड्स ऑन नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस दे दे सेट नेहरू हैड स्पाइज ऑन हिज फैमिली वेल इन टू द 50स या हां सो कांग्रेस डिड एवरीथिंग दे कुड अगेंस्ट द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल या एंड सो डिड द लेफ्ट यार ये लोग डोमिनियन स्टेटस मांग रहे थे टिल 1929 Only yeah. after 29 they I think asked for Purna Swaraj. वो भी pressure में आके माने everyone was demanding Purna Swaraj. आह हाँ Purna Swaraj, Purna Swaraj. The agreement uh, that in the end happened in 47, I think that was even for just dominion status only. हाँ हाँ हाँ, I I think so too. As far yeah. as I'm not uh, I'm not well aware of the. I think Anuj Dhar unearthed, unearthed those papers recently, just like three yeah, four yeah, years yeah, back. Yeah. And uh, no. before we. get back to the movie once again i uh, one interesting question has come up from m shastri here which we have discussed basically he is asking you that what do you think about uh, government of india hiring declan quigley to head a department of let's say hindu sociology <laughs> well uh i i would have personally put whatever weight i have behind it i i don't know hmm that man is a wasted resource he is our own he is our sociology ka savar kar if i am to put it that way yeah and 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 sadly hmm. uh not just sociologists in india don't know about him i discovered him by mistake by the way yeah. on facebook do you know he has been commenting on our video of his paper oh really yeah i forgot to tell you <laughs> i just told you now uh oh, he has okay. commented some he... things even i have said that please start researching again or uh, and do more stuff on india he says haha i i'm not sure i'm i'm not into uh, research at all these days <clears throat> wow he's such a gentleman i yeah like i said he he is such a wasted resource man yeah. he's such i just feel bad yeah uh, horribly bad for him now getting back to the movie uh, Great, do yeah. you have any more uh, significant uh, memorable scenes in the movie uh one is where he says and this was even in the trailer so i was looking forward to watching it hmm. ki बोलो बंदूक की नली कौन कौन डायरेक्शन में दे दे दैट वाज सो सच अ स्ट्रांग मैसेज आल्सो अ दृष्टिकोण सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मोटिव दैट दैट जस्ट चेंज इट शिफ्ट इट या 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 दैट इज ब्रिलियंट एंड 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 यू नो आई 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 एम टेलिंग यू मैन इफ इफ ही वाज एन ओरेटर बैक इन द डे लाइक ही वाज एन ओरेटर बट ही हिज हेल्थ बिकेम वीक बिकॉज़ ऑफ अंदमान एंड ऑल दैट यार इफ ही वाज देयर अगेंस्ट गांधी आई कैन इमेजिन अ Imagine Gandhi speaking on one side and him speaking on the other. Yeah. Socho, socho, kya hota? I mean, people would have left Gandhi back when. Okay. Anyway, yeah. by that time, yeah, forties. Me, Gandhi was senile. He was uh, like considered a liability even by Congress. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Gandhi yeah, was we'll, a we'll touch upon that a little. Ha? Huh, kya? Yeah, we'll touch upon the the Gandhi conspiracy that we can uh, uh, explore a little based on yeah, the movie it, it and has, become some. Yeah, it has been explored in the movie really well yeah. without. Yeah. implying everything you know openly yeah. it has tacitly been implied like yeah. very beautifully and yeah. i think this is where huda is a, a an academic at heart i think he he could have shown that ha hmm. ah, congress mein char log baith ke plan ha ah, gandhi ko marenge gandhi ko marenge ah. that would be a b grade but, movie but but he knows precisely that uh, you know there's no proof of this properly hmm. because proof hmm. to waise bhi hata diya sab hmm. and um, he knows that this won't be taken very seriously by the viewers <coughs> yeah and this will destroy the quality of his movie yeah so he simply makes savarkar say acha isliye unka security hata diya ha and that's all uh, the, the the beautiful the beauty of the subtlety right the, you yeah. were talking about subtlety in messaging hmm. and that's there that's yeah. there without making everything very crystal clear yeah even because vikram sampath himself has has, has hinted at this all over yeah huh? even vikram sampath himself has hinted at this that a, a hospital was pretty nearby no one was even rushing him to a hospital bhai there was there were two attacks on him before that hmm. right 
there was no security guard yeah. um they got one random dude to kill him hmm. okay and uh, god knows like perhaps he was a part of the sang and all but it doesn't sang never had a official membership for a, for the longest time hmm. you know that yeah like you i anyone could just walk into a sang meeting sometimes you know so okay. it was so easy for the you know the hindutva ideologues they made so many blunders they made so many blunders there's a reason that a substandard party like congress could rule for so many years <clears throat> okay congress yeah. did not rule by its uh, you know its its intelligence congress ruled because the others were relatively stupid i'm sorry i have to uh, you know talk like sitaram goel here but that's a fact <laughs> okay yaar dindyal upadhyay who's the opposition leader yeah. is going in a train without any security they murder him and just throw him on the tracks what what is happening people in the hindu mahasabha and sang they they opened like they were like abel they were the definition of abel mujhe maar okay and, and, uh, and this reminds Congress me that well who hit yeah. anyone everywhere just for its own benefit so yeah. Doesn't oh by the way that that drishtikon motif that uh, uh, you have to just change the direction of the weapon some day even that has been shown literally as well that when the naval mutiny is occurring that's when the direction of the guns on the ship the gunships even yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, change yeah, the yeah, direction yeah, yeah. literally which was it being spoken of metaphorically turned. that happens literally that is the beauty absolutely. of the film absolutely 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 yeah. and and it's brilliant it's brilliant cgi bhi utna use nahi kiya because yeah. it was the cgi ka quality kharab ho gaya right i think that's exactly. the one scene which has cgi yeah and uh, brilliant the ship doxin has doxin has cgi but it's pretty believable it's not bad no, it's, it's beautiful it's, i think i think what he did was he invested a huge amount of money in the things he knew yeah that people will nitpick on exactly ki cgi mein nitpick karenge kar diya yeah. music <clears throat> editing crisp karna padega kyunki people will pick flaws yeah baki jo kiya hai he did it on a shoestring budget yeah and that's the brilliance he made it a he made it a four act play and hmm I think that's the genius of Huda as a director. Yeah, this movie and would it, suffer a lot if it had bad color grading, bad sound effect, foley effects, etc. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a big problem. Absolutely. Ho absolutely. Yeah, and uh, in terms of how, how emotional are you during movies? Did you feel like almost crying in some scenes? Um, I, I felt my you know the worst kind of sensation when he came out of the jail and there was nobody to greet him. Hmm. I, I felt horrible when his son died and he was in. He was fighting for his. He was trying to get a degree. Hmm. To his his brother was killed. Like these these scenes, they stay with you. His brother exactly. was burnt alive <clears throat> simply because he was a Chipatwan Brahmin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like, what does a family have to go through? Like, there's a scene where he says, "हमारे घर में आग लगाना पड़ेगा कि." पड़ोसियों को रोशनी मिल सके इमोशनल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वॉट सावरकर डिड आई थिंक फॉर द लेफ्ट इज द लेटर दैट इज वन ऑफ द की टेक अवेज फ्रॉम द फिल्म दैट आई हैव गॉटन दैट it's a life full of tragedy plague then yaar then you your... propaganda lagta hai na to yeah. supreme court jao seriously yeah. one of your kid you. dies when he, when he or she is i yeah. forgot the gender uh, when when he or she is 4 years old then another dies at 16 you spend your yeah, life yeah, in yeah. jail your brother spends your his life in jail your younger brother gets beaten to death and yes. then no one remembers you and then your movie is almost a flop <laughs> what is going on with this person and his family a lifetime of just tragedies tragedies and and bad luck and then then some people have the gall to say mafi veer and all that yeah i'm like yeah. embrace mafi veer <clears throat> my if anyone lis- listening in wants things that i am worthy of giving advice hmm. i'd say embrace mafi veer say that yeah he should have done that 30 years or 20 years ago hmm mafi and... nama mein koi problem nahi there was a lehi group in uh, among the jews which hmm. was uh which had uh, tried to negotiate with hitler okay when he because they knew that he was going to kill the jews right okay and they said bhai you just demonetize my channel then you at least kuch jews to bach jayenge you just demonetize my channel by saying that phrase oh okay um well 
apologies in advance yeah sundar let's Pichai let's write a, let's write a mercy petition tonight okay yeah so uh, i'm all for mercy petitions if that gets you what you want uh, yeah. politically and socially that gets yeah. you what you want and yeah. and that's more important we sh- we should start thinking like the left in yeah. our actions yeah but think for this country that's yeah. that's what they never did i i read uh, revolt of 1857 his his book uh, about about almost 50 or 100 cha- 100 pages i was almost in tears about two three times <laughs> insane strength of uh, basically stylish writing oh my god the way he describes the relationship between two kings and the different dynamics of those of that era the way they are thinking about freedom unbelievable writing skills bengalis have so much pride in filmmaking and and even writing skills all that's going to be taken away by marathis now people no, have not read savarkar the, they don't know what an incredible writer do, he is do you do you see the do you see the interesting aspect here hmm. um marathis and bengalis wrote the best stuff about hindutva right about yeah. nationalism and hindutva yeah and these were two of the most developed states yeah. of their time yes in the british time yes तो पैसा नहीं होगा ना तुमको कुछ नहीं मिलेगा आर्ट लिटरेचर लैंग्वेज म्यूजिक फिल्म्स यू कैन नॉट डू इट विदाउट मनी एंड द कॉम इज ऑलवेज गो अगेंस्ट द इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट फॉर प्रोमोटिंग दिस एंड दे एंड अप यू नो गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड इवेंचुअली सो महाराष्ट्र विल होल्ड ऑन बिकॉज महाराष्ट्र हैज अ थ्राइविंग इकोनॉमी वाइल बेंगाल यू नो क्रैप्ट ऑन इट्स इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट एंड नाउ where did and uh, i was yeah. having a conversation a few days back with a with a music colleague of mine saying that see uh, bengal needs to change its economics otherwise we are never going to get paid enough for for our work or we are going to go on getting substandard work because the industry only has two one or two main composers anupam roy indrajit das gupta for for all the, all their movies and their biggest budget movies 1.5 crores what are we going to work on so he says that no musicians in kolkata love investors they are always going on looking for investments and then i said that yes that is a problem musicians <laughs> or leftist musicians don't have a problem when investments come to them they have no clue how an invest investor becomes an investor they are going to oppose every policy that makes the investor rich enough to fund your music project so where are you going to get the project from pritam solil choudhury to pritam chakraborty everyone is in mumbai but all musicians yeah, yeah, in kolkata yeah, yeah, hate yeah. industrialists are tumhara jo bengali pride hai na ki we did this we did that all was because somebody or the other had funded these dudes yeah if tagore didn't have money you wouldn't have won the you know uh, the nobel prize if, if he if even was friends with yes you abroad, he wouldn't get the nobel prize <laughs> If yeah. Abhijit Binayak stayed in uh, as a professor in presidency, you think he would have gotten the Nobel Prize? Push nahi hota. Okay. If yeah. if if R D Burman did not score for Hindi movies, yeah, at one time, yeah, वैसे भी ठीक है तब तो Bengali movies were also doing well. Yeah, hopefully. true. But even by the 80s, when when R D was at its peak, at its hmm. peak, early 80s, yeah, 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 late 70s, early 80s, yeah, uh, it was because Bollywood had a ton of money that he. got what he the fame he deserved rady barman kishor kumar yeah without bollywood ye nahi hota and bollywood was funded by a bunch of industrialists yes whether they did it for the wrong reasons or not you know doesn't matter hmm without money art dies and this is what the bjp must realize yeah for huda and other good directors like agnihotri huda yeah. sudip toshan whatever we have right now वैसे <coughs> भी yeah. half the good directors aren't there with us yeah I I think there's only Agnihotri, Huda, and and uh, Aditya Thakur. I can name at best three. Oh, and Raja Mouli, of course. Raja Mouli cannot be. I don't think of him as a Hindu. Tua. I don't know. Like he's again, he's somebody in his own right. I I see. He is. He is a guy. basically a Hindu conscious person. So yeah, even yeah, if he yeah. doesn't set out with a propaganda in his mind, he ends up pro- pro- promoting that because that's what he believes in it. On, uh, honestly, I'm talking about let's say political Hinduism. What right? What 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 this movie what savarkar swatantravir hmm. savarkar or, or 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 kashmir files or or kerala story yeah. have done even vaccine wars hmm. right uri uh, article 370 these yeah. kind of movies yeah these these are of a different genre entirely yeah. they appeal to a certain political uh, side and these directors unless hmm. they are uh, if they are not successful otherwise you must you know what a friend in the left told me one thing hmm. uh, and that's a good piece of advice hmm. uh, 
he said keep producing keep producing work hmm. okay now movies are such a thing is not like you can write on your laptop and get it done you can't do that hmm. you need at least 30 40 50 crores to make a movie a good movie hmm. 20 crores mein dekh dekho kya hoga hmm. so the government of india na ho bjp sang temple committee somebody fund these guys i'm sorry if you can't if you don't fund them now we will lose our hold on the means of knowledge production yeah and people that, don't appreciate that a law a large part of this hindutva wave whatever there is of it i don't think there is a much of a hindutva wave but it is still significant from uh, 10 years back but still a lot of it uh, credit for that goes to bahubali it, it first for the first time we saw ancient india in good light a person a hindu worshiping hindu idols in good light and being proud of that and that absolutely. happened with money imagine bahubali in 20 crores <laughs> hmm no no that's that's why and it's so tragic the timing the everything Yeah. I personally believe if Savarkar was released in December or January, I think it would have been a mega hit, it, at yeah. least hundred crores minimum. Yeah. Um, do Do you think by uh, now it would have been thirty forty crores at least? Yeah. Um, three seventy worked because three seventy came like there was a long gap. ये इन लोगों का ना ये election से पहले इनका कोई problem है like the BJP and these people. They think you watch one movie right before elections, you will become a voter. <laughs> so they use that they don't have the brains that if you make 10 movies right before the election people are just going to watch one or two and they're going to forget about the rest okay uh, yeah. or waise bhi you know it's this is a continuous process this can't be like election se pehle do paisa bada diya gas ka dam 200 rupya kama diya to everyone will vote for me aisa nahi hota particularly in, in movies like savarkar which are which are not just for you which yeah. are not just for the election yeah which are which are for generations to come yeah okay and uh, everyone was waiting for article 370 anyway because of aditya dhar's reputation the the, the work he did in uri that was a phenomenal yeah, hit yeah 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 <coughs> no like i said if 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 it if savarkar released even at the time of article 370 hota yeah right like one month before the election when most yeah. karyakartas are busy yeah you can't your like major uh, viewership is on yeah. the roads campaigning Yeah. Do you Or think it's very important that you can't say that oh everyone go and watch a movie and forget it. Yeah. You can't you, you even that is important. Yeah. But especially in Bengal I don't care about the other states especially in Bengal. Yeah. And do right. you think uh, uh, the with the rise of the new middle class we are finally going to see uh, movie making skills and the kind of uh, sort of the socio economic privilege that people require to make art? Are we going to now see the, the kind of people who already have that Hindu pride or believe in a Hindutva uh, ideology now, or believe in the Hindu uh, Hindutva arguments now? Are those families now finally going to have enough money to become critical thinkers and and uh, make movies? Because I guess the disposable income has reached a different population section now, which didn't no, up at, until now. Look at Raj and Krishna D K. Right, they were hmm. I think software engineers in the U S. Hmm. And they came to India and they made show in the city and other movies. And now hmm. they are super hit. Like man, uh, what is it? Uh, 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 Manoj Bajpayee's series, Man. Uh, yeah, yeah, Family Man. Family Man, Family hmm. Man. um and all that so that i'm not saying they're nationalists but i'm saying that they have mm. <clears throat> they are now some of the best filmmakers in this country yeah and they have no they don't come from a film family yeah they don't um you know make uh, they don't have a bunch of uh you know huge godfather supporting them and all that mm. uh but rajan krishna dk are good directors so i'm saying yeah. that it's possible that the middle classes could do it Yeah. But filmmaking again, without like even Shotu Itray and others said that without commercial films, hmm. filmmaking as an art will be dead. Yeah, you need commercial films, which are perhaps maybe indie in flavor like Bahubali and all that and hmm. RRR, hmm. and perhaps we could we could create an ethos where films like uh, you know Savarkar are appreciated at least get seventy, eighty, hundred crores something like that. Hmm. You know so that so that. At least the guy knows that I have a stable audience to watch my yeah, stuff. Yeah, that is the most important thing right now. Maybe, maybe I, I, I think if it crosses till the next week somehow, hmm. it has to hold strong till the next week. Yeah, I believe that simply through word of mouth, it might work. It might work. Yeah. God knows, but it might work. Let's see. 
Now I read the uh, Janki Bakhle Savarkar book's introduction for now, but the introduction is is a pretty good uh, gist of the entire book. She goes through almost chapter by chapter and gives the gist of all the chapters. So she is giving us a basically flavor and hint of what she is going to write about in the rest of the book. Okay, so she is in favor of basically not calling Savarkar just a random fascist. She is in she is very much in favor of uh, of. Uh, propagating how much savarkar uh, had the balls to to stand up to the hindu orthodoxy and even went to war with them basically metaphorically uh, to, in order to fight for the lower castes whether that was in order to unite hindus uh, against muslims in an evil way she she says that will that's not we are we are going to delve into that later but let's just remember that he did go to war with uh, hindu with the hindu hindu orthodoxy fought against them for the lower castes and that is a very important thing to remember people should not forget that that is bakhle's appreciation for savarkar but she uh, insinuates something interesting near the intro of end of the introduction and basically which she'll probably delve into later on in the book that she has probably come across uh, evidence or at least she has hinted so that savarkar was a british stooge in a way that uh, maybe savarkar himself did not know about it she has not uh, mentioned that but uh, she is saying that uh, okay i have a message from you uh, oh no no uh, that's just to check if that appears okay. or not okay. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> savarkar w- may have been a british stooge because the british apparently let savarkar come out of the prison to break the hindu muslim unity which was threatening the uh, british and the muslim umma as well because gandhi was uniting all the muslims uh, etc yeah so uh, yeah. savarkar was sort of the person to 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 break this apart do does that matter if that was the case because savarkar might not have known about it um well like i had told you in our in an old chat that we had that you know um savarkar savarkar was uh somewhere you know uh, he would never be owned by the academic left hmm janki bakle i had warned you like janki bakle ka you know people are ec- excited about her book and all hmm. that and perhaps because vikram sampath's book is now a best seller hmm. that the left will try so left ye karta hai left i won't be very surprised if they take out a movie on savarkar a few months later or a few years <laughs> later okay just to counter huda okay hmm. um they might call him Ma- mafi veer or whatever yeah. so i had warned you that bakle would eventually hmm. give a kind of a picture that would eventually be negative hmm. or 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 have large chunks of negativity in it ओके पूरा पॉजिटिव तो नहीं करेगा डिस्पाइट नो मैटर हाउ मच दे नो दैट ही इज अ ग्रेट पर्सन और व्हाटएवर ही डज ओके बिकॉज़ आई थिंक पीपल हैव डन वे वर्स देन सावरकर एंड आर स्टिल हेल्ड बाय द लेफ्ट सो इट्स नॉट सावरकर वाज वन ऑफ द मोर जेन्युइन पीपल ड्यूरिंग द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल एंड वी हैव हिपोक्रिट्स एंड हॉरिबल पीपल लाइक गांधी एंड ऑल हुज माने हु आर व्हाइट वॉश्ड ऑलमोस्ट एवरीडे बाय एकेडमिक्स सो i told you it's all about the politics are, and and once you realize how political academia is yeah and you must play politics to be in there <laughs> yeah that that is when you realize that it's it's not about the truth hmm. it's always about a political vision that is much larger yeah than the current uh, you know vision that 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 is uh, you know uh staying in in the public mind it's it's about larger aims yeah to so, savarkar ke bare mein log acha bol rahe theek hai ek book likh do jisme hmm. you hint at some you know possibilities of him being evil hmm. so wo hi log lenge and and the worst part is no matter how much she praises his anti caste message and all that hmm. the thing is that the left will now cite that one or two instances that she may take out that he is he was a spy for the british or whatever <laughs> और देखे एंड दे विल से हां ये तो बाकले ने बोला या ही इज अ स्पाई या माय पॉइंट इज ओन इट ओन इट इफ यू कांट इफ यू कांट डिफेंड इट एंड एंड आई हैव सीन यू कांट डिफेंड अगेंस्ट द लेफ्ट द लेफ्ट इज द लेफ्ट इज फुल ऑफ द वर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ पॉलिटिकल बीइंग्स ओके दे डोंट केयर अबाउट लॉजिक और नॉलेज और ट्रूथ और व्हाटएवर दे माइट से दे डू दे डोंट एक्चुअली या ओके एंड what they do care about is whether their vision is being achieved and yeah. as long as we don't think like them we cannot defeat them and that's why savarkar was so strong he knew 
दैट ब्रिटिश को हराने के लिए जर्मन और ये सब चाहिए एंड ब्रिटिश को हराने के लिए यू नीड वेपन्स ओके और ही पेड देम बैक इन देयर ओन कॉइन या ही यूज्ड व्हाइट गाइस अगेंस्ट व्हाइट गाइस सो यस ओके देन गाइस thank you for joining the live stream and uh, thank you for joining us christopher uh, christoph lies a lot and we'll we'll come back soon with other topics we have in mind oh and uh, where do, uh, you know whatever comes out from this uh, live stream we've planned oh, yes. to uh, donate it to uh, buy tickets yeah. for um, whoever we can uh, yeah. who cannot afford it or yeah. if somebody wants to uh you know somebody is unaware of savarkar and yeah. he could influence that person yeah just watch the movie professor liza lot is donating 2000 rupees to send uh, people to watch the savarkar movie and whatever proceeds uh, we get from the adsense revenues from the live stream that you all watched right now we are also going to donate that uh to uh, to to people who want to watch the savarkar movie or who probably don't want to or probably who can't afford it we are going to donate this to that and i i know i would request others if you have some disposable income if you have 500 yeah. rupees if you have 1000 rupees yeah. to spare just do it just yeah. do it man don't you you will you will probably have a good meal in a restaurant for a day doesn't matter this is for hmm. this is to help huda i am sorry it's more than the country maybe this film will be a sleeper hit on ott or whatever yeah. but right now i think this is very important that we we support those who support us yeah in the in the field of academics and uh, movies and 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 art yeah because that these are the places that are, that's that still need uh, talented folk who work for this country yeah this is kind of the beginning of the annihilation of uh, caste that uh, liberty and equality to sabko chahiye where is the talk about fraternity so it is a brotherhood so share share uh, so so contribute yeah, to yeah, your yeah. brothers making the movie be a communist share your resources <laughs> yes for this movie only i am not saying otherwise yeah yes yes okay thank you for christoph lies a lot uh, for joining and we'll have a conversation with the viewers here now and uh let's see uh emshastri is saying dada did you check incoming email no i haven't checked my mail for the last 2 3 days as of yet i've sent you a thumbnail oh thank you i'll check that as well even ajit doval was quoting gandhi yes uh failure of lucknow and bengal pact was quite evident by the time savarkar got out right mopla uh, riot stocks uh, exactly against argument of hindu muslim unity yes uh, but how much should we own against the left as owning too much will give them the ground see uh in terms of owning you don't have to own absolutely hoarded or, or like un uh, indefensible thing. some things are indefensible okay so who knows where your red line is but in terms of uh this, this sociologist argument of of defending it instead of just uh, being sad about it remember that the left uses different ad hominems and uh, words as criticisms or in their tone they they mention it as if it's a criticism when it might not even be a criticism okay let's say this uh, this accusation that savarkar was a Brit- savarkar was beneficial for the british in the way that british thought let's destroy the unity of the muslims or the the congress muslim Mu- alliance by by unleashing savarkar on them it, that sounds like a criticism it doesn't have to be why is it your problem why is it my problem why is it savarkar's problem that w- w- for what reason was he being let out of the jail how does it matter to anyone okay it may have mattered to the british okay but what savarkar's ideas were you believe in that already right if you don't believe in savarkar's idea if you don't even agree with his plan then okay it's fair enough to say that yeah he was being let out for a for a plan i disagreed with and therefore i have a problem with british uh, with the british using him as a stooge and therefore maybe savarkar is a is a stupid person to have have uh, taken the uh, chance but you and i agree with what what savarkar's plans and warnings were therefore i think it doesn't matter to us because how british unleashed him or why british unleashed him is not a not a problem we would have preferred if savarkar came out even earlier like like he was saying in the entire live stream that uh, maybe he should have apologized far far long back maybe the very very day he went to andaman because he was more effective outside Janki Bakle changed Savarkar defection of fascist supporters inspired from Germany to Italy you need knowledge of fascism in academia to understand what she is saying i feel sorry that you didn't understand that <clears throat> uh understand what changed Savarkar defection of fascist supporters inspired from Germany to Italy you need knowledge of fascism in academia to understand uh understand what exactly can you elaborate a little uh then even in hyderabad they say the same thing that communists were with nizam let's check some other comments 
uh, Bengal got woke before it got rich. <laughs> yes, Magadhira. Yes, but Magadhira's problem is also that uh, the the time it was coming out in, uh, we were used to seeing such great CGI everywhere. So Magadhira would be considered a little, little weird. No wonder it was not as big uh, as as bigger his uh, as bigger hit as as Bahubali. Of course, there was something different about uh, Magadhira. There's no Pune Pact without uh, Raja Munje Pact. Hmm. Uh, Raja Gopal, uh, Raja Gopalachari, Raja are forgotten. There wouldn't be a Pune Pact. Yeah, uh, there's actually a dearth of colonial history written about South India. Yeah, Vikram Sampath was like RSS doesn't speak for all Hindus. Yes, Netaji ICS uh, uh, chada letter theo your obedient servant likhe chilen. Uh, yes, yes, that was the norm of how to write letters back then. That was the letter writing format. One billion Gopal Patha would clean the Gazi from Middle East. Okay, uh, IIT Kanpur wants to develop Hindu sociology. You have been hired to develop it. How would you approach? Aha. Yeah, I, I could have asked this question. I did not notice it. Uh, Hindu-Muslim unity only exists when the Hindu is in a state of dimitude. Germany fascism is different from Italy fascism. Yeah, okay. How does uh, Janki Bakle changing that shade of Savarkar matter? Uh, because the main thing that leftists will take away from the Janki Bakle book is that Savarkar was a, was a British weapon, was a British instrument. Okay then, thank you for joining the live stream guys. In the next few days, we will discuss BJP's uh, West Bengal candidate choices, how it affected academia uh, and many other topics we have in mind, okay?